Hello YouTube, welcome back to some more Monster Hunter Sunbreak and the first event quest has been added. This is it. Was it for? Uh, a gesture. I don't know what gesture, but a gesture. Points to paper, points at door. <laughs> okay. Oh, what if I joined it, of course. Please. That'd be good. Please update my interact buttons. <laughs> They're very sick. No. I'm not going to use gun lines against these two. Although I guess they could be souped up. Or no. It could be, that probably won't be. Nah. Uh, it was an M2 star. Yeah, still my best one. Okay. And then we'll be doing more anomaly investigations. Oh, Court's here. Court is here. Hang on, I can add to the call. No, I can't. You're not in Discord. There you go. Hello. 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 Apparently, there's someone else here who'll get all my anime references that I make tons of every day. Constantly. Can't stop you. Mm hmm. I forgot what food I used to eat. Oh, Moxie all the time. I've also forgotten you need to ready up for hunts. That was because I was lo looting my own storage box. Looting? Hmm. <laughs> this ain't Fortnite. Although I was on there and I, I spent the V-Bucks from the Battle Pass to get a, a mole that was on the oh. shop today. Speaking of that, I had like a fucking amazing game today. Um, I, it's it's so fitting which character I was playing as, but I had like I think I had sixteen eliminations in the match. How many of um, them were bots? I think most of them, if not all of them, were players because I've gotten into pretty hard games lately. Hmm. Yeah, you're probably ruining our MMR, so we're not gonna have any more fun now. <laughs> but yeah, um, you're too high level. There was like. At least four of them were just Goku's trying to get off Kamamas. Were you playing they solo? Don't... No, I was playing duos. Okay. But um, they don't seem to realize they're completely open yeah. while they're there. That's because in the anime, they, they sit and wait and let him do it. Yeah, but you see Deathstroke doesn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I was just playing as Deathstroke. Yeah. Deathstroke. It's, it's a good skin. Are you familiar with the emote called Glitter? Glitter? No. That's the one I bought. I don't know oh, what, it, what I it's from. One. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it said just... it was added in Season 9. Oh, was it? Oh, I thought... I, I think... saw they added a new new emote, but I'm not sure which emote they added them. I thought it was Glitter. Oh, hello, kitty. I would describe it as the next step up of the Star Power one. But probably not K-pop in origin, although I don't know. It might be. Well, there are like literal K-pop songs in the game. Hmm. And they're the worst emotes in the game. Oh, well, I hope it is one of those ones then. Because you won't have to hear it. No, it played music. That's why I picked it. It adds the music was why I picked it. But it oh, might just be the uh, non-DMCA replacement of the actual song that plays for everyone else. Could be. In which case, I got the better end of the deal then. Uh, uh, I, d I didn't end up winning that game because at one point, one of the Kamamahas did manage to hit me. <laughs> Oof. It was like in the final circle. Um... One of them managed to do it while I was busy with other things. That was pretty fun match. You should have been convincing the person you were playing with to play Rumbleverse instead. I, I've been trying. <laughs> <laughs> he refuses. I've wanted to play it all day, but I want <laughs> to play duos now that I've played them. They're really fun. Yeah. Maybe I'll bother CR at some point. Since he seems to be the only person I know of the place of it. And he seems to be good at the game, unlike me, so he can carry me. You were doing fine. I'm fine. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm fine. 
Okay, we're going after... We have to kill both, right? Yeah, so... Yes, we have to kill both. I'm gonna say hello to the Gnossum because I'm right there. Fair enough. I did also see, like, a different stream where people were lagging all over the place. I do think the servers mm. were having some issues. I think they're becoming popular, so they're, they weren't super prepared for that. I don't have combat moves in no, there is. He just hadn't seen them yet. Do I not have flinch break? Oh, if you don't, you're in for a bad time. Yeah, you're gonna need at least one rank of it. I mostly play solo, so I don't really need it usually. Okay, well, if I can guess what the gesture is that we get for this from the quest text alone. So this points at something points at door, right? I read out. Yep. I'm gonna guess it's a point emote. Oh, why am I on? They it? did say on Twitter and I saw the tweet, I just I don't remember what they said. Wait, excuse me. For some reason, like, dodging made me finish the bar. Hmm. Well, that'll get the job done. Oh, he's mounted. Yeah. I shall put down the snow of destiny. Activating a recovery effect. <laughs> I'm never altering my, my shout outs. kind of games are better with at least one other person. Which is fine for the solo. It's, it's just a brawler then. Well, it's, yeah, I guess. A lot of the time it's just 1v1 sim if you play solo since people don't like jumping into group fights. In, in, group, in duos, people are more likely to go into them. Yeah, I noticed that when we it constantly happen to us. But in solos, people tend to, like, kind of just avoid group fights. Mm. Probably because they can easily get chain comboed. I'll probably remember jumping into a sewer and being attacked by a man in nothing but his underwear forever. In the sewer. A green man in nothing uh, but his underwear. He was green, yeah, he was green. He was cosplaying a sewer goblin. <laughs> what is, uh, is that a real thing? No, I don't think yeah, it is. That sounds like a D&D &D archetype. Yeah, it's, it's a different version of the loot goblin. He doesn't have loot. <laughs> he just says he, shit. <laughs> I just find it funny that he didn't have any attack either. Yeah. I mean, I was in the wrong there. I invaded his home. I had no idea who was there, though. Yeah. Oh, badges, please leave. Oh well, no, they're exploding. But uh, yesterday I like I, I disconnected mid attack, but I did also learn through a clip what happens when someone disconnects. Mm -hmm. They just fall over, die, <laughs> dead. Oh. Since there was someone that was in um the in a final, mode. they got they were in the final ring, and the other guy that just supered and immediately fell over and hit the <laughs> other guy one. It was just what happened. <laughs> The Damn it, Bullfangle! 
since... At the weekend as well, it would be especially bad. You know, since, like, the people got, like, attacked while the person was behind them. Yeah. Uh, like, they got to attack from behind while the person was ahead, like, in front of them. Mm -hmm. Just like that. And as that you you know YouTube comment uh, comment said, or it was a Twitter comment said, it, it is now the oh. hot thing. Yep, the, the I, I got a, t a tweet from someone who didn't follow me, <laughs> saying don't play Fortnite, just play Rumbleverse. It's the hot thing. And then yes. we ended up playing mostly just. <laughs> Gonna Which keep up with that Zuma audience. They must be scouring Twitter just for the mentions of Rumbleverse. Well, they might be looking for the mentions of Fortnite and just saying, "Don't play this, play Rumbleverse." It I might guess. be a bot that just goes for a fort against Fortnite. Yeah, you wouldn't program a bot with like misspellings on it, would you? Oh, like you would if you wanted to surprised. blend in. Smash Two is dead. Surprised. I've seen a lot of. Just bots that have misspellings. Mm. The FBI trains their agents to deliberately spell certain things wrong to appear more childlike. Mm. I saw yeah, a documentary about that once. That told you, it wasn't FBI bots that told you to play on both. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we don't, don't need to look for a special item because this is not for an, an, an armor or a weapon, this is for an emote. Do we just have it then? We should, yeah. Uh... It's, it's emotes. It's, then it's over two. Hmm. What is the new emote? What is the enchant menu gestures? Spirit fingers? No, it's, it's oh, over it's one o and it's, it's over, over two. One, it's over two, yeah. I don't... What do these have to do with the monsters we just hunted? I don't... I don't... I don't understand. Well, I scored a goal during it. the footballs. <laughs> Me, when I score a, score a touchdown in the baseballs. <laughs> There's some lootability with that emote if you stand too close when someone's doing it. Nice. You can do that with a lot of the emotes. Yeah, but that one in particular is like they're going like, fuck yes, sure. penis. I'm sure Ken says done it with most of the emotes. Oh, of course, he's a, a dirty <laughs> boy. <laughs> That's why he's not allowed on the streams anymore. Would you like a Juratodus or a Barath? You're a Juratodus. I am a Todus, I know. Or does, uh, what's the highest level we can take? Uh, maybe, maybe Tuba has oh, some. Yeah, does Tuba have here. some? No, mm. Tuba doesn't have any. Just push, push, post the fish. No, oh, no, never mind. I'm not gonna post the fish because there's a there's an Astelos with it. That's so much worse if it's an anomaly one. Yep, it's two of them, so we're gonna do the the Barath. Wait, double Astelos? Yeah, that's terrible. No, it's fish and Astelos, oh. but it only mentions the fish in the name of the quest. I see. But you gotta kill both. Wait, is it fish and astos? No, no Bar this is Barath. Yeah, there's some known glitches with this mode, but I've forgotten what those are as well. You do certain oh. things that was on the Twitter. I think it was like okay. there's certain monsters that mess with it. Or oh, damn it, I can't remember. Let's see if they tweeted cheated. recently. No, you I cheated, I so we don't have to do this. I think it was a, like a, an actual glitch. Ah, oh, damn it. No, they haven't tweeted recently. Oh wait, yes they have. Okay, hang on. Look back real quick. Because they posted like two updates on known bugs. Didn't find an issue where if an anomaly investigation has been joined by a player in the same lobby as the quest host via a quest board, the investigation will not show up in the search results for join requests. Ah, uh, that does not matter to us understand it and then the other one was if you register an equipment loadout containing a weapon with a rampage decoration and then roll back the upgrade for that weapon an error will occur when you try to select that particular equipment loadout I got disconnected yes you did 
Can you rejoin? Oof. How do I leave a hunting quest? You don't uh, do one of them. You abandon. You abandon, you, abandon, you don't leave. return. Yeah, so basically don't change your equipment loadouts if you have a rampage weapon and change it out for something else. No, it's or specifically it back, if yeah. you roll it back, but that's a very a very edge case. Mm -hmm. It's just why they didn't find it, I guess. And then the other one is if you play multiplayer locally but then want randoms to join on top of that, which I, I don't understand why you would. If you needed help, like the signal flare in World, maybe? Is that, does yeah, but you've got to decide that before you start the quest. It's mm. when you post it if you want to send help requests. Okay. Alright, yeah. Pick up garbage. If it's glowing red, pick up garbage. God damn it, I've already had I had already forgotten about that. Me too, until I saw one glowing was like, oh yeah, that's a thing in this. Why did you remind me? I would have been blissfully ignorant. I want your inventory full of crap. Full of crab, I can do that. And crab and crap. I am back. Welcome back. Yeah, you're not in yet, though. I'm in the hunt. Oh, you are. Never mind then, welcome back. <laughs> oh, glowies. You are? Why is this sleeping when Opal is glowing? Oh, research, kill it. Oh, no, it was the plant it was sleeping next to. <laughs> kill it anyway. It killed the plants. Not the plant! We need those to live. Oh, should have been infected then. True. Oh, this mining node is infected. Yep, better mine it. Yeah, I'm gonna mine the shit out of it. Oh, hello, Bareth. Rocket in the way. Well, as fast as a Bareth can muster. Cool. can hear the Bareth limiting suck noises from here. Suck. Bears suck. Is he inhaling his mud? I don't know. It's just the curios in him. Uh, doing the suck noise. Oh, that noise. Yeah. Not seen a single thing to pick up that was glowing red yet. I've been picking up like two or three. I haven't found four of them so far. Yoink. I'm assuming at least it's like the items that you can do normally, but they're glowing red. Yes. Oh, shady blue. Overdone! Oh no, oh, no it's no, the, the worst one. Yeah, the true villain is here. <laughs> He's helping us, maybe. Did I hit the vault? Oh shit, I didn't. It targeted the wall, not the vault on. Three. We're doomed. The vault was clearly moving too fast for my eyes to keep up with. Clearly. Oh yeah. Something else I found today is that uh, I looked through mods for the Spider Man game. Yeah. Um, you can play as the Kingpin. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, <laughs> the mod we've been waiting for. Uh, yep, I do like that the icon, the, the the picture they chose was just the pi the kingpin do like the falling pose <laughs> with a peace sign. It's very good. <laughs> That's exactly how it'll be when they add them to Fortnite. Oh god, I hope they add Spider Verse kingpin in Fortnite, please. <laughs> Get killed by a be... black rectangle. I just want <laughs> to be an actual rectangle. <laughs> Oh, that's half my health. That's perfectly cromulent. Yes. For jeering, to be honest. 
No, it's because it was a normal A level. <laughs> Third will do my entire health bar since I don't build for defense. I'm already charging. Oh, that didn't count. Perfect. I did good damage and he didn't wake up. Go for the... Kablamo! Okay. I fucked up. I didn't have bombs on this, so I'm just gonna throw them out. <laughs> His eyes were glowing right there, but it's just because of the sparkles around him. Oh, I see an Andrew in the distance. Yeah. Just minding his own business. I actually did know that, like, Volvidon was on the map. I knew Andrew was on the map. Hmm. But I didn't know what Volvidon was before he attacked. And, you know, terrorized us. Honestly, uh, I wouldn't be complaining if, like, Volvidon was just the final, like, monster in the <laughs> game. It would be fitting. It's like the only monster I just can't deal with. Especially in anomaly form? Yes, especially in anomaly <laughs> I bet that can't He's gonna me. explode in a second. I put down another snow. That's right, I had but another one. Oh. Still oh. gonna explode in a second though. Good. Ow, my face. Thank you, Snail. You're welcome. Get a better hitbox. Can't, he can't afford it. He's still rocking that Freedom Unite. <laughs> no, he wasn't worry. even in Freedom Unite, maybe. Uh, he was not. Yeah, he got downgraded to our Freedom Unite for being bullied. So maybe this will help. What monsters was it that was introduced in Tree? It was Lagaikris, Baroth, Baryoth, uh, Giginox, uh, Gubble? Gubble, yeah. Gubble. Nibble Snarf. Oh, yeah, Nibble Snarf. Royal Luger. Basically, any aquatic monster. Sidious. Yeah, gotta miss Sidious. Yeah, I miss 50 minute hunts too. <laughs> they... That was just. Tries like both things though, they had inflated hard parts. Yeah. That was a stupid little baby back then, good times. times before I knew what skins in this game did. <laughs> it's actually impressive how long I played this game without knowing what like skins did. I feel like a lot of it has to do with that I played this game before I knew English. That would definitely hurt, yeah. Yeah. And the game doesn't, well, those early games don't really do a good job explaining it. No, I just used what the full back then. 
good enough for me. I was 12. <laughs> I was gonna say he should be dead soon, but then I remembered he's an anomaly monster, so who the hell knows? Yeah. Yep, it's gonna, gonna be, be another while. Within, within the next week, I think. Could be getting kills at Tomato Town right now. I mean, we are killing Tomato Town right now. <laughs> That's true. But somebody already wiped out Tomato Town. That's true, it's not even in the game anymore. I was just making a reference that the youngins would understand. Uh, that was the, I. The real youngins want to understand they haven't lived long enough to see Tomato Town. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Fuck. Uh, I think that was something, something Crispy said. Was it that? Uh, no way. I don't remember if it was one of his co-workers or if it was like some interview with like an actor that said that like they felt old because their favorite season of Fortnite was the first one. <laughs> I have not heard this, so it sounds like something a uh, twenty-year-old might say, twenty-five at yeah. most. Uh, they were probably like either <laughs> like just entered their twenties or like nineteen at most, like at the youngest. Yeah. Don't even. They probably <laughs> liked it when Fortnite was a. Uh, what was it? Orcs must die kind of thing. Yeah, that's that is good. I liked it when it was that. Yeah. Yes. Well, except for all the bloody fucking loot boxes. It still exists. Well, yeah, it still exists. People, people actually play it too because it levels levels up faster than the battle royale. <laughs> so it gives oh. you more XP. Okay. No one else gives you a shit ton of XP watching an episode of Dragon Ball Super. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually did watch an episode of uh, Super and I was being harassed by bananas the entire time. <laughs> Honestly, that seems like it'd be an improvement over watching two minutes of plot in a 25 yeah. minute episode. I watched episode 89 where Goku and Gohan fights the crew of Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> no, 81, not 89. It's like the, the preliminary preliminaries to the Tournament of Power, oh. where they fight, like, the weak universe. Yeah. And they fight the furry gang that just looks like Sonic characters. I have, I have not seen that part of it. It's it's a red... it's a blue wolf, uh, a red fox, I think, and a yellow fox. Hmm. Uh, one of them sense. is... One of them is really fast, <laughs> one of them is really, like, tricky, and the other one is just very, very strong. But don't worry, it's not the blue one who's fast, so they're... Simple. Oh, okay, legal oh, mistakes, okay. yeah. I was worried there for a second. Yeah, the red one is fast. But if the blue one isn't the fast one, then they're fine. Yep, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. There are also different types of furries. <laughs> Excuse me, they're not furries, they're Mobians. Or Morpians, I don't even remember Morbians. now. No, it is Mobians, right? Sonic is a Mobian? Oh, we got different choices now. We can do another Barath, or we can do Royal Ludroth, or we can do Ignosum. Um, Royal Ludroth? Because Ignosum is small and annoying. Item exchange. Well, we only have a time limit of 35 minutes. Oh, crap. Ah, no, I keep pressing chit chat by accident. <laughs> Be gone. Yeah, this is literally just the fucking tempered hunt, so. Yep, it is. Yup, yup. Tempered apex, it's all their mechanics just bunged in. Still. Gotta grind up that level and then Get fight the, the actual things. Chair. Fine. I will body slam you off a building and <laughs> make you not get any kills in Rumble first. <laughs> just in a zoom and drop me off the chip. I'll accidentally spoil every one of your attacks. <laughs> I kind of want to get better at like avoiding hitting teammates and shit like that. It's very difficult to because if you both want to kill someone, you're going to hit each other. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, oh! I actually learned that you can like actually save teammates. So when 
when like you see your teammate being grabbed by like an attack, you can jump mm -hmm. and kick them out of it. Oh, the game has a surprising amount of depth. Yeah, like I've seen some people pull out some crazy shit in duos, where like there was a guy that got grabbed and midair, the other teammate just jumped up and like <laughs> drop kicked them out of it. But yeah, I want to get better at like spacing in teams. I also want to get better at blocking it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was doing fine with the dodge, but I kept on forgetting to to block. Yeah, I feel like block is like safer since most people will just do normal attacks, and grabs are pretty. It's pretty easy to like go out of a block to into a dodge. They kind of use the same buttons. Obtain clues for a new invest. Wait, clues for a new anomaly investigation. Yes. Wait, that's why we're picking up the things? Just to give us yes. more options? No, to give us more level. Oh, okay. We have to do this less. Oh. Instead of picking up footprints, we pick up literally everything else. At least we're not like, yes. picking up monster poop and sniffing it for no reason than putting it in a jar to take home. What do you mean? I have a I have storage <laughs> filled up of monster poop. I've sniffed. <laughs> You do well I, in Cult I, of a Lamb. Poop is I the background my, of it. I my, like, sniffing room in the hub. <laughs> oh, a sniffing room. I did kind of like just decorating, like, a room in the world just by, like, filling up the fish tank. Oh. Yeah, that was that was alright, bunging the fish in and whatnot. Filling it yeah. with weird animals. I had, like, 40 of those weird little fluff bald birds in my, like, bathtub. I had many, many cactuars. I filled my Iceborne house only with those fluffy monkeys they added. <laughs> mm, I, yeah, I put, like, my uh, my hot spring was, like, filled to the brim with those, like, weird little fluffy ball birds. The penguins. Had... That's what you're talking about, right? No, no, no. No, the, the, the rare, rare wildlife that sometimes rides around on the back of her uh, herbivores. Yeah. Oh, I don't, I don't even look... remember that. They look like basically like mold spores, but they have legs. Lovely. <laughs> I got you mold. I had penguins in my uh, living room. Any clues for new anomaly in the investigation? That's because I just picked one up. Because I really wanted that shrapnel ammo times 40, I guess. Oh, you're even auto-crafting them. Interesting. Yep. I never turn off auto-craft. Turn it off some things because it's annoying and I, I, I could use the materials for other things. But most of the time it doesn't matter. Okay, where is the... Oh, over there. Okay. Yep, all the way over there. Got some inflammable coal. Yes, that's normal. Yep. Oh, he's over there. Actually, does this lead out? It should. We. I really hate the caves. Okay, I'm in the right blue spot. Dog, fight me. Oh, Ludroth, there isn't a dog. Dog. There's an ocean dog. He's basically a seagull. Mm. He makes steel noises when he, like, spits. He makes, he makes eagle noises. Seal noises. It's the noise no, of an eagle, for some reason. One could say he's a... Seagull? <laughs> hmm. Oh god, that might even be the reason. Oh yeah, it might be. Seal and eagle. Yeah, like that sound. Yep. That's just the sound of a grenade launcher firing. Yeah, that's a seal. I don't think that's seals least... are grenade launchers. Navy seal. <laughs> oh, a navy seal, that's a good joke. <laughs> 
Uh, I hadn't considered that. Oh. Ah, he keeps slapping me. <laughs> don't get slapped, taps for it. It's mildly inconvenient. <laughs> Just become the slapper and not the slappy. It'd be Will Smith, not Chris Rock. Oh, since you're about oh, fuck, since you reminded me of like actors now, I re I learned that apparently Vin Diesel has like contracts where he can't lose. That's like in in movies, his character can't lose. That's pretty sad. <laughs> That's why, like, in Fast and the Furious, I think it was, there were, like, there was, like, a hit counter for him and, him and The Rock. Mm hmm So, too, it's because both of them apparently had can't lose. <laughs> <laughs> so they had to, like, count punches to make sure neither of them won. That, that screams insecurity. I see a glowing orb in the background, I gotta go get it. You don't gotta oh, do nothing. Look at him, he lost his color. Quick, brush him with, with uh, egg yolk. Really? He's become like a mime from Power of Girls. You were trying to think of something that had a mime in Power of Girls was your first go-to? Yep. Because I remember there's a villain in Powerpuff Girls that was a clown who lost his colors and it became a mime. Oh. Huh. I remember very little of Powerpuff Girls because I was like a literal baby, but that's the one episode <laughs> I remember. I never oh, watched any of it because I was too old for it. Not so. I remember it. Mm, I remember it. I remember an episode where, like, a monster hamster was in it, and since I was, like, an actual baby, I got scared of it. <laughs> set him on fire and he ran away. Um, I would also I mean, want to set on fire. <laughs> Look at him go! Let's put the zooms. The zoomers. Well, he takes 30 damage a tick. I'm not sure if that was me dodging or me getting knocked back by something. <laughs> well, I see his numbers. What do they mean? I don't know. He's gonna explode in a second. I'd like to see him try. Oh, there he goes. That's cool down time after doing that. It wasn't very long. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually surprised that like they show the episode of Super in, in Fortnite rather than the movies. I would actually watch the movies. The movies probably had like additional licensing, that kind of thing. Probably. Probably a lot cheaper to license just, I don't know, five episodes over like two movies. Yeah. What? I kind of wonder if like, they, got, they got the shitty looking episodes or if they got the like, update. The one I watched was shit. <laughs> maybe they didn't update the first ones. Or maybe. or maybe they did get the shitty ones. The shitty ones were probably cheaper. <laughs> Absolutely. Probably, yeah. Through tails. Just 
I just threw it and cut it off while we were at it. I would if I could, but anomalies are hard to break open. Except in No Man's Sky, we basically just fly into them. And it's, it is our home away from home in No Man's Sky. Yep. Except when it like com completely lags you out for going in. I just turn off multiplayer and I never see people there. I prefer not seeing other people there, since most of the time it's like little Timmy sitting in front of the quest terminal waiting for someone to post a quest. Little body big fart. Oh, I've actually discovered a planet by that person. Nice! To get around. No. I also discovered, got into a universe where Valdemar has discovered one of the planets, but not the other ones. Ow! I mean, that might have been like near the end of my first playthrough when I, when the game started bugging out, so I just, uh, just attacked one of them and left. I do hope that some people at one point discover the prank system. Oh, there'll be a, like a Reddit it. post or something about it. Just discover the madness within that yeah. system. <laughs> I've discovered now that I can build like uh, space stations by just... I keep building platforms higher and higher and higher <laughs> until I can't get higher, and then I delete the platforms and they're just floating. Nice. So I now <laughs> built a space station. It's my own... It's my own orbit station. I don't need theirs. No. Better. There is a water wall right over there if you want to run it into it. Nice. He's getting what now? I've also discovered uh, that you can get like organic frigates for your expeditions. Like living ships, you mean? Yes. Just giant living ships that tells me riddles, and then they join my team. <laughs> nice. It's like I, I was just like flying through space, and it's a uh, no. I found an item in an expedition that I had to build, and when I built it, I found like a whale song in space. Oh. And wait, a whale song I, is a Star Trek reference. Uh, if it was oh. a literal whale song, then yeah, it's a Star Trek. It, it just said Whale Song Detected on, like, the monitor, you know? Yeah, it's a, it's a reference to Star Trek. And then, and then like, a, a thing that looks like one of those, like, infected things from Warframe showed up and started to keep talking riddles to me. Hate when that happens. <laughs> and he was like, pay me 50 bucks and I'll Oh, I wondered what would happen if you did play Possum and such that it would fall off. It cancels it and makes you fall. I was hoping to plank off the edge of a cliff. <laughs> I'm gonna assume the like living frigates are a new addition in the latest update, because I haven't seen them before. Mm. Like I know there's one from the last expedition, but that's like a unique one. And these just showed up. I f I, you can feed them fruit as well, and they <laughs> change stats. Space fruit. Yeah, I fed them... Um, cranberry, was it called? Feed them feceum. <laughs> okay, we we <laughs> don't really have much choice this time. We've got a Royal Ludroth alone mm -hmm. in 35 minutes, or we've got a, a Bareth, a uh, Pukey Pukey, and a Basarius. Yeah, we'll take the one monster over three. Okay, I, I thought as much. Also, I didn't know it was like... I didn't even consider that it was like, you know, feces before you said feces. And it was just, oh, oh yeah, yeah, and I only know that because I've been doing the, the farming a little bit and the growing of drugs. and yeah. You find it on feces planets. <laughs> feces planets. It is, it is just space poop. 
Yeah, it, yep. it literally is since the um, animals also drop it if you bring out your pets and feed yep. them. And they join this quest. Level 41, I'm not high enough level. Oh no! Oh, yeah. You're not high enough level in the uh, investigation mini game. We were just going with the highest one smash tuba, but that's no problem because Kor's behind us a little bit. I don't see my level. Ah. Uh, you go to the anomaly investigations tab and see which one, which of the quests is the highest that you have. Oh, How do I bloody cancel a quest? Uh, my highest is level 26. Didn't we just do one that's higher than 26? Yeah, but it's it goes up in tiers and 41 is a new tier. Oh. Well, post your highest, and we'll work our way up. How do you even see, like, how far along you are? <laughs> you don't, that's the fun part. You it's, just get new ones. Yeah, it's not a really well done menu for doing these, like the investigations were. Ugh! Well, that's, it's either that or level 11. And I think level 11 is the other one that isn't level 1. Apparently it says in your guild card what level you are. Must tell us says. For thunder is. Bold of him to assume I'm going to look at my hunter card. Uh, I love looking. Uh, anomaly research. Yeah, it's uh, right on the first page, bottom right corner. Forty-one for us. Like an awful lot of work to check. Forty-one for flick. Don't look at my guild card. Twenty-six for court. Fifty-one for two. Okay. Let's see how it is. Somebody's been grinding. I haven't played this since like the update came out. Oh yeah, I need to ready up, sorry. We last played last Saturday, I think. Uh, are you sure? I Not 100%, no, but I think we played it last Saturday. Hmm. EVP was there, we, we did stuff. Mm, yeah, we did, because I died to my score in Magnum Allo via bullshit. That's how I remember Oh yeah, it. yeah, alright. That's how it was. Yeah, I don't know when last I played, but I know it was before the updates. Since I just kinda wanted to play other games. You've been addicted to Battle Royales. Well, have sure you not I... done have you not done the uh Lucent Nagakuga? Not yet. I haven't fought silver or gold either. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, you can do those gonna... if you want, but only Lucent is interesting. That's fair. I mean, gold and silver is just gold and silver. Yeah, it's the ones from Worlds. So it's the even worse versions. Oh, well, it was actually funny. Um, I uh, I returned to... I played Worlds again, like, a little bit ago. Hmm. And to, like, warm up, I fought a silver Athelos, and I was like, man, why is this thing hitting so hard? <laughs> Turns out it was tempered. Oh. Oh, I see. I, I just like, oh, yeah, I entirely forgot this was a thing. <laughs> After some some camp. Someone Why do these two have bugs? different icons? What do you mean? On the left, next to the Kazu and the Somna camp. Oh, oh, only one of them is uh, afflicted. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, only the Kazu has the Lurgi. What does the quest thing say though? It Slay or hunt all targets. Yeah. yeah let's kill both of them. That's okay. weird. We've just got a bonus one. We're just fight. being preemptive with if, if the sun that can't is infected or not. I guess, yeah, like worried that uh, they'll just fly into him. I guess. But what about the, uh. What's it called? Tetronodon. Yeah. yeah. It's too cute. Tetronodon's belly. Tetronodon. Well. Since only one of them is tempered, at least it won't take as long, hopefully. In theory, yeah. I wonder when they're gonna add, like, a kangaroo monster. They already did, Great Mako. Oh, right! 
Well, I mean, like, it's it's like a raptor that acts like a kangaroo. It's I mean, half like kangaroo, half kangaroo. parrot. I mean, like, a literal kangaroo monster. Hmm. Give it you mean, like, the character from Tekken. Yep, okay, yep. <laughs> I knew where you were going with that. They can make it work. Yeah, just they do a collab like, with Tekken and put the kangaroo in. They gave, like, a, uh, a gorilla a boxing glove in this game. Yeah. Look who's on the way to say hello. Oh. Quickly kill before we get back to these two. You hear a roar. You hear nothing. Oh, the music's gone. Hey, wait, Kezu's silence overrides music? Wait, no, I heard the music again. Yeah. It temporarily turned off the music to announce it's here. I cannot obtain any more anomaly investigations from this quest. Sure. <laughs> the damn done out of nowhere. Yeah. Oh yeah, I did see John Cena fire a Kamamaha as well. That's that's in keeping with his character. Yeah. It was Wait. a bit weird when he did it in Peacemaker though. Okay. I saw someone that was like using um the like original Omega Knight, but I don't remember if that was when I was playing with you guys or not. Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, since like I remember like just emoting with him in the lobby, and then his group was the one I killed. Bro. <laughs> I killed his entire group except for the Omega Knight, and then he managed to get me. And my my team was fighting a different group, like on the other side of the building. Yeah, I don't think that was yesterday. Now. Yeah, no, I think that was when I was. You've been playing a lot of Fortnite. Yeah, I've been playing <laughs> Fortnite. It's good fun. That's oh, already dead. It is amazing. Imagine the monster that, like, dying quickly. It yeah. is like incredible that the moving building improved the game so much. And I remember saying so many times when we were playing it with building that if it didn't have building, it would be much better. And I'm glad I was right. Yeah, you were. Everyone has that opinion now. It's just now people actually consider it good. Do they display like player numbers anywhere? I'm curious how many people stuck with the build mode. I know people are like on the hard copium about build mode where they just like yell at people playing no build. You just don't want to take the time to learn how to build a house when you get shot. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Yep. <laughs> Congratulations, you you got it correct. Now now the, now those people just have to learn how to fight play a shooter. <laughs> yeah. I don't have the ADHD required to build a seven-story house when I get shot three seconds later. Yes. Now it's just, or right now it's just get shot flying like this. Yes. <laughs> but that's just for two weeks until the event runs yeah. out. Flying Nimbus is pretty handy. Wait, did he jump? Oh, he had a string on them. I was like, how did he jump backwards? Uh-oh. Man, this combat music is something else. <laughs> really gets gets me excited for this fight. Gets, gets the blood pumping. Yeah. I'd have music on for stream, but the only thing I have loaded is a cover of music from Stranger Things. That's that's on the no playlist. We should have Kaz's thing to like the channel points for the reward thing. <laughs> well, <laughs> then just like mute everything for ten seconds. Yes. 
No, just have a switch over in complete silence. <laughs> yeah. Just turn off all sounds except for you talking. You guarantee someone will join in that moment, first time in the stream, and be like, Does the streamer never talk? Hit it! <laughs> you get to turn on and use the right <laughs> sound. Do you think there's been like. Oh, well, I say this, but there's definitely. I was gonna say, do you think there's streamers who had the entire streams where they've been muted the entire time? But there definitely has been. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yep, Snoop Dogg did that once. Yeah, but that's Snoop Dogg. <laughs> I'm not surprised he did it. But yeah, there'll be other people, but. People who don't read their chats. Who would do such a thing? Not reading their chats. What is a chat? Uh, I don't get the implication there. Do you not read your chat when you're playing D&D? Yes, because I can't, because I've got so much other stuff going on. Ah. Those D20s aren't victory. gonna roll themselves. Can we get that victory royale in D&D? <laughs> I think I got shot by a gun once. Not me for once! Yeah. <laughs> Pretty sure it was by the corn the, the corn there. The corn can't shoot. It pops. It pops, yeah. Let's try. Yes. Gives me enough time to sharpen. Hey yo! Oh yeah, I got a daily in the Underverse today that is just take 12,000 steps. Oh. So many should be doing nice daily. Walk. Just go on a nice walk. Yeah. Other than uh, Smash Tuba telling us where to see the investigation, no one has said anything since KE mentioned we were bullying the Baron. Oh, I thought this chat had broken. Yeah, I thought my chat was broken as well, but no, it's just because we're playing one on on a Saturday. <laughs> yeah. Remember when you were like basically a monster hunter channel? Good times. Yeah. I mean last month? <laughs> well, for the last month, yeah. I mean like when 4 Ultimate came out and like shit like that. That was more. Yeah. Monster Hunter was like the big thing then. It was a big thing, but I never became big in the Monster Hunter community. You don't because you didn't tell people what the best build is. Or in, or care about it, yeah. And you didn't talk about the, the lore and rich history of Monster Hunter. <laughs> uh, and make 37 videos about the equal, equal dragon weapon. Has someone done that? Probably. <laughs> it's like the most popular Everybody's topic Everybody's done country. everything. But you it's sell with like, who you find. It's also just like, kind of like, Monster Hunter is kind of like uh, Dark Souls. If you're if you're not a gameplay channel, you're very limited in what you can do, and sooner or later you'll run out. Fair. Mm, not with the rate they release new games, I would say. Mon new Monster Hunter games, that is. Yeah, but like, the, the lore is much more limited. Yeah, I mean, you can do trailer breakdowns, you can do monster, like, ecology, react, react things, um, yeah. I mean, with, with Garbage, monster basically. hunter stories, you've now got a lot more lore. Oh shit, the lore game. Yes. Where you can discuss, is this game canon? Yes, and what if you're, uh, what illnesses depending on your demographic, have? you've got to say no. Is monsters the real monsters? <laughs> yeah. And you still count yourself a real gamer if you enjoy Monster Hunter stories too. Can you really call yourself a gamer if you enjoy anything but Monster Hunter? Absolutely not. True, Monster Hunter is the only game. 
I enjoy that you're equally as cynical as I am about the shit people produce and their money from doing so. I'm in danger. Uh, I'm no longer in danger. I say as I upload, there's two two hour pop, uh, Fortnite VODs waiting to go up. Quite like it. <clears throat> yeah, but they're not producing, I don't know, highlight reels, I guess? And shorts are basically that. Or you dab yeah, but you dab gotta... 12 year olds and get 37 wins in a row in the shorts. <laughs> and, yes. you know. Pretend it's the same the same games back. I don't back. kamiha someone and do the gritty or grindy. What's it called? It's the gritty. I, I got but it I right. Hit the, hit the gritty. I still don't know yeah. what it is, but I got it right. It is some sort of song dance combination. Oh, it's too English for me. Is it English? Probably. Chat talks when I'm playing Call of the Lamb. Yeah. They all talk about wanting to be sacrificed for some. Yeah, reason. they all want to be sacrificed and be force-fed poop sandwiches. Just all the all of the chat is just witness me. <laughs> Which is fine, but you know, the stuff I like playing is the stuff that gets ignored, like Fortnite. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, we had we had okay viewership for Fortnite, relatively. Yeah. People were chatting. Fortnite and uh, Rumbleverse seem to do fine. Eh. Which obviously means you should be a Rumbleverse only channel now. If I ever learn how to play it properly, maybe I will. If I if ever that, stumble if... on something that does as well as Overwatch, I'm grinding that into the ground and then retiring it. Insert younger age here. Because then I can stream whatever I want in retirement. Mentioning Fortnite woke Buffy up. It's like mentioning EDF in front of Ciara's dog. Ah, ah, she put her paws in my pipe. <laughs> oh, I accidentally just put. I'm not used to the new menu for the mercenaries already having your selected buddies. What's retiring? I think it's when you die. Yes. Court, what's your highest? Anomaly hunt. I'm just gonna check my guild card because I'm lazy. How do you check my and guild then, card? And then post it. Oh, well, you'd have to talk to oh. the NPC anyway, so. Oh, you're right. I'm 28 now. Jesus. Wait, weren't you at that before? 26. No, it was 26. Ugh. Yep. <laughs> Onwards and upwards. Oh shit, now it's. It's the same hunt, but 27 this time! <laughs> Are you sure you don't have a 28 hiding somewhere? No! <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch! Okay. Don't know what I feel like using. Yeah, I'll just use this again, it's fine. Dash Tuba has a 28. Oh. oh, well in that Did case, that... yeah, post that instead. Just so we have something else to fight. Oh, what should be the same quest? <laughs> <laughs> it's you <good>. motherfucker. <laughs> oh, come on, <laughs> fucking hell. It is the same quest. Oh, wait, maybe. Oh. No, no, no. no, no, no. I'll see if I have a 28. I should maybe have a 28. I have the same quest at level 29. Hang on, let me look. <laughs> Fuck this quest. I have a Kula Yaku level 28. I have a Tetranodon and a uh, Elmodron level 29. The Elmodron is not affected, the Tetranodon is. Uh, I have a level 40 quest that can be taken by level 21 or higher, and maybe oh, that'll give that. you a, a higher quest. Okay. Let's do that then. Because this should be the highest you can take. Barath plus and spider. We, okay. And if you get enough red bits, maybe it'll drop you something higher. Yeah. And we can shortcut this a little bit. My damn inventory, that's what I needed to what do. What does the item exchange do? Oh. 
item exchange? Yeah. Isn't that yeah, you exchange uh, one type of anomaly item for another if you need that in particular to upgrade a weapon? Oh, you can oh, buy, yeah. like, gems and mana. Yes, you get, yeah. like, coins from doing this and you can trade them in for stuff oh, here. Shit. You just need 300 of them to get Yeah, them. only 300. I've oh, got boy. 17 so far. I've got 7. Incredible. I've been doing all these anomaly Incredible. missions, I still can't get anything other than slots for skills I can't equip. Because I don't have the stuff to unlock the skills. To put three extra damage on my sword. I'm gonna put damage on my sword. Three extra damage? Or is it uh, six? Five extra damage. Five! Oh. That made all the grinding worth it. I need to equip it. I don't know. Yes. I've got 10 extra attack on my weapon. <coughs> wow, look at you. Oh, fuck. Buffy is currently trying to tell me to follow her upstairs so she, I can give her treats. <laughs> Don't fall for that cat psychology. It's fine, I'm the only one in my family who like doesn't just give her treats every time she wants to. My family actually spoils her, and I'm trying to make it so she doesn't, you know, expect that all the time. Oh, well, good luck. Yeah. Every time my father shows up, it's just, oh, you you look like you want this entire box. <laughs> <laughs> How has she not turned into a giant ball? Because she's very active and spends, like, 70% of the day outside. Killing things. Yeah. Oh! Hello, well, Martin. At, speaking of, like, uh, things, um, there was a, at one point, so during the summer when it's really hot, I just have, like, the balcony door, like, slightly open, so mm -hmm. it's wide enough for Buffy to go in and out whenever she wants. Um, one time I just walked out, uh, walked up to the kitchen and saw there was just, uh, a magpie sitting in the chair in the kitchen. <laughs> And when the, when it saw me, it just calmly jumped out of the chair and walked out the door. <laughs> it was just visiting. Yeah, it's just like the amazing thing is how calm it was. Like it didn't freak out and fly everywhere, it just jumped out of the chair and walked out. The only time I see magpies is when they're trying to muscle in on the pigeons' territory around my house, so they get into fights. I don't think there are pigeons in this place. I've never seen a pigeon. Yeah, I actually don't think I've ever seen a pigeon in my entire life. Because you like, can't keep person. eating them. She definitely would. Pigeons don't seem smart. There was one time where I saw two people kind of pointing up at my roof and I wondered what they were looking at and it turns out it was a pigeon dangling a magpie from my gutter. Oh. I've never seen that before. The pigeon mafia has joined the chat. Uh, she she is a very active murderer, but we try to make her not be so good at it. Because my father really likes birds. <laughs> so does your cat. Yeah, she does. So, my father has, like, feeders for birds and shit like that, and Buffy has now found that she can just sit underneath <laughs> I was just going to say, she can use them oh, as lures. Yeah, as she genius. literally just goes to sleep underneath them, and since her fur color makes her look like a bush, <laughs> birds don't notice her. So she's at least caught three so far, I know that way, and we just try to make a noise to make her stop killing. <laughs> Apex Predator. See, this, this is why if you get a cat, you should teach them from their small to have uh, like a, a collar that has a bell on it. It helps the birds a lot. Yeah. Yes. The Kenpachi strat. No. Yeah. Some cats are capable of going past it, <laughs> like Kenpachi. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know it, uh, it's not like 100% on the species Buffy's, Buffy's because of her fur can like muffle it. Reached so. her anomaly camp. 
Don't really care. Well, in that case, we should start killing. Which one first? The non, the non-buffed one, so spider. Uh, someone's fighting something. Yeah, Smash Two is fighting the spider. Oh, just skidded up a tree. Skidded. Skedaddled. Skedoodled. Skidded and skedaddle are two different things. Skiddled, skiddled. Skiddly dude. Wee! <laughs> done it again! Oh shit, someone attacked me. Nice. It was probably your flip, but you activated my counter. You're welcome. <laughs> Turns out, longsword user is good. You're just lucky it wasn't a hundred hand slap. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I would be doomed then. And it slapped into a building. Oh, it did actually him. Huh. Maybe don't like the pseudo slap. I like it. <laughs> oh, it's like, it seems good, but it feels like you're very vulnerable during it. Oh, absolutely, yeah. It doesn't even do that much damage. It's, it yeah, stuns it's and stuns. fires them away. It's annoying. <laughs> Oh, oh Buffy never like... brings the birds into the hill, into the house. She kills them and then eats them or just leaves them. She's a warning like, to other them. birds. She never brings them to people. You're not worthy of a gift. Yeah. No, she just thinks you can fend for yourself. If your cat brings you gifts, it thinks you're a bad hunter. Oh wow, he's <laughs> dissing you. I mean, to be fair, like, there was a time where Buffy was, like, trying to catch a crow inside the house, and I just <laughs> grabbed it and took it outside. Nice. It's probably after that she just doesn't bother with me with that. She just probably assumed you snapped his neck and <laughs> ate it right there. Out of sight. It, she did seem upset about that. I took her bird, though. Mm hmm. You took her, you stole her kill. Yeah. You were a kill stealer. And assists don't count IRL. <laughs> You're right. The worst part about like the heat wave is that Buffy is like recently likes to sleep on top of me, which just heats me up even more. Mm-hmm. She basically uses me as a pillow. Oh, hello, Rathian. Thank you for wasting my big attack, both in terms of hitting you and then also not doing the whole thing. Oh, uh, did you get mounted? I, I did get mounted, so to speak, yes. Oh, yeah, you got mounted by Rathian, I see. Well, I didn't get mounted, but I did get screwed. Yes. And then I forgot which we were hunting, so I just ran her into straight away instead of doing attacks. When are we getting <laughs> mods where we get to play as the monsters and it replaces all the monsters with hunters? <laughs> Call it the Peter mod. <laughs> that would not fuck up the, you know, models at all when they try to stretch to the <laughs> hitboxes. Not because of the, the uh, terrible company, but because we'd be playing as uh, Lois Griffin from Family Guy. Because mm. she says Peter. She doesn't say Peter. Peter. I've only seen a single episode of Family Man. Well, thank you for humoring my joke that you had no context for. Well, I mean, I also only seen it in Norwegian. And that, sure. yep. <laughs> that would not help. Actually, is there a Norwegian dude? I'm gonna Google that right now. <laughs> I, Sorry, you mean I Hunter notes it. Yeah, I'm gonna Hunter notes it. Yeah. 
That's what we do. I know there's a Norwegian double the Simpsons. But is there a Norwegian double South Park? No. I'm pretty sure that's in English. Okay. That's been around for 25 years now. South Park. Yeah. Jesus. I know because they did a live music concert of songs from that in their movie and whatnot. And the official YouTube channel uploaded some of it. I remember I didn't like it as a kid, partly because I didn't understand it, and also because, you know, it looked weird. And it's filled with 80s references, which you wouldn't get. I mean, I, I was like an actual baby again when I saw this on TV. Oof, oof, oof. I don't know, it, it's like, when I was a kid it was just like, oh, Superman, Justice League. <laughs> Spider-Man, maybe. Oh yeah, the, the I remember watching the 90s Spider-Man thing. Yeah, I watched that too. That was like one of my favorite things. Along with the Justice League Unlimited. I also watched that a lot. Damn it. You died before I could even hit it with the big attack that time. I do also realize that like... I've never actually watched the animated Batman show uh, series. What was it? The it original? Was it just old? Yeah, the original. Wow. Since I, I thought I did, but I think it's just that I, on, I only watched the Justice League cartoon that had like a similar art style. Oh. And I don't think I've ever seen the, the Batman animated series. It's very good. It holds up. There's a few episodes that only has things adults would understand. I remember I didn't like Bane's design. <laughs> yeah, he's a bit weird looking, especially after the like the third season they changed the animation style to look more like the Superman cartoon, i.e. cheap. Like I really hate how Joker looks in the final season of that. He has like pure like black they, eyes. I just didn't like how they did like um, what's it called? The, his mouth and eyes are so off-putting with they. Yeah. He doesn't it's look anything like, like Bane from the comics. Yeah, it's just so weird that like he doesn't look like it, Bane's whole thing is that he's a, he's like super villain luchador. So it's so weird they like seem to just try and remove that every time. He looks more like a military guy. Yeah. <clears throat> they have like tried to remove the the like luchador side of Bane a couple of times. I've noticed. With, like, you know, Tom Hardy as well. That Bane. Yeah, Bane that Bane doesn't have anything to do with it. And, you know, they can make the excuse of they want to make it look more realistic, but he's fighting a guy in a bat suit. True. And then you've got the Bane from Batman I mean, and Robin. the guy in the bat suit is basically just a wrestler costume. Yeah. How dare you? He's a ninja. Am I wrong? He's a ninja, not a wrestler. Ninja it's basically a ninja, a ninja costume, it just happens to have a cape and ears, is all. Right. Incoming. Yeah, but now I want the Batman outfit in Rumbleverse. <laughs> oh yeah, on the fat wrestlers that would be great. Skinny wrestlers would also. You would just be the South Park parody character who was called Bat Dad. <laughs> Which is just a fat dad dressed as Batman. Oh shit! The, the beefy characters in Rumbleverse reminds me of like, a, like a parody superhero. Oh right! It reminds me of uh, Quark. Was it from Quark from Ratchet and Clank? I, I'm not familiar with Ratchet and Clank at all. He looks like that, except he has like a full body green suit and he smiles all the time. Hmm. Yeah. He's like a parody of like you know space the space hero. Okay. I think like his character is that he's actually like a big coward, and Ratchet does everything. So a bit like his Aunt Brannigan? I don't know what that is. Futurama? I've never watched Futurama uh, My bones. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that like... It probably launched in Norway, but probably not in like any channels I had. I remember, like, 
in like two, the 2010s and shit like that, the channels were very weird in Norway. Effort. Oh fuck, I jumped off. <laughs> I thought that was a platform. <laughs> oh yeah, I do that every time I run up there. I do hope they get like white call like costumes and the rulers. Because it would be fun. There's one where you're, you're dressed as a pig, isn't that random enough for you? No. No? I require to be a character from X Shell so I can Oh, they'd have to work. get they'd have to get Fall Guys popular before they get licensed yeah. characters. Yep. Yeah. I'm it's got a hoping. chance, it might. I'm hoping and hoping. I'm just hoping they get like more interesting outfits. So so far, nothing in the store is interesting at all. <laughs> the battle pass is yeah. also pretty interesting. Like so far, only the free outfits are like funny. Since the other ones tried too hard. Like the ones in the store try too hard to be funny. Mm, is that the pig? Yeah, the pig, the cow. Uh, all the other. You know what they need? A cow kini. Ugh. You're right. So I could have that on my my little. Dumpling. Honestly, the yes. most the most intimidating people we fought in it were all the ones that were just in their pants, like the just their tidy whities They were the intimidating ones. Oh no, uh, they need to. Add. <laughs> just... Oh no, here comes the the wrestle baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, rebrand it as wrestling babies. Yeah, Donald, uh, Donald is really big in Norway. Why? I don't know. He's the only one who kept uh, kept his name as Donald Duck. Hmm. Must have been a contractual thing. Like, he's the only one out of all of the characters that didn't get a Norwegian name. Like, uh, uh, Goofy is translated into the Norwegian word for long legs. He does have long legs, to be fair. Yeah. Like we pronounce it differently, sure, but he is literally named Donald Duck in Norwegian. Um, Mickey is Mickey. I don't remember what, what like. Oh yes, Scrooge is literally the name, like the, our word for like a Scrooge. <laughs> There are some names that are kind of just like weird, but they like just try to find like words or names that sounded similar enough. Except for long legs. <laughs> so they didn't just give him a name. Like Huey Dewey Louie. Uh, they're named Ole Dole <laughs> They always sound the so name... fun in other languages. Yeah, they named something else in other languages every time. The Belgian ones were fun too, but I don't remember what they were. Oh no! Oh, that didn't do damage. Nice. Thank you, Dango Defender. Here. What was the like scientist guy named in English? Uh, uh, I don't remember a scientist guy. I just remember like there was the eagle type guy. Yeah. Who was tall. Scientist guy would have been just in Dark Tales. Ooh. Ooh, yes. I just remember he was in the comics every now and then. He's like the guy who invents everything. Yeah, I don't think uh, the English population got the, the comics. Wow. We probably did. The comics were like super popular here. Oh, you reminded yeah, me of a story same. I meant to tell like a week ago now. You know how... How about it? It's about Games Workshop. You know how there was people at that tournament that had like a an SS Imperial Guard army or whatever, they were just being like super yep. racist. And Games Workshop released a statement saying like there's no heroes in the 40k universe, everyone's a villain, you shouldn't be like supporting these people in that way. Yep. Well, that's fine. They're also still making sticker albums as it turns out. And there's yes, one it. which is Space Marine themed. 
Yes. And I've forgotten the wording on it now, but it was something like, show your honour to the chapter by collecting them all. It said something <laughs> like that on the front. I should have taken a picture. But yep. I was mostly just, uh, the thing that caught my attention is because I was just getting out of somebody's way and I was like, they still do sticker albums? Because I've I collected tons of sticker albums. I have a bunch somewhere. Gotta uh, hook the young ones somehow. Gotta convince those parents to shell out for Space Marine Army. What's his name? Gyro... Gyro... Gyro, Gyro Gear Loose. It does sound like a slightly parody name. That's the English name for him, Jesus. Well, because he's yeah, a gyro that has a gear loose? In Norwegian, his, his name is Peter Smart. <laughs> <laughs> That's equally blunt. Here. Every hunt so far has ended in war. <laughs> That's true. Oh, wait. What was the um, the villain guy named? The um, the, the big fat cat oh. guy. I don't remember these things, uh, and he's in every Kingdom Hearts game, so you'd think I'd remember. His, I know his name is just translated into like Black Peter. Oh, it's probably just Peter or Pete. Pete. That's what it is. Pete. He's just called Pete. So I, I remember his name is Swartipetid, <laughs> which just means Black Peter. Basically. Isn't that the name of the goat from the Vivich? The Vivich? It's a, yeah, they've got a black goat and it's called Black Peter, I think. I don't know what the Vivich is. It's witch, but it's spelt with two Vs, not a W. Uh, it's a period accurate, but there's also witches horror movie. Uh, I haven't seen it, uh, I just know it's, it opens with an exceptionally disgusting scene, but it's also apparently very good. Okay. Uh, let's see, court is 32 now. Wow. So if we can do another 40 or two. I also remember I had like a Darkwing Duck GameCube game when I was a kid. Hmm. Or was it PlayStation 2? I don't know, I remember I, I had that and then I lost it and I was very sad. I don't like that you talk about these consoles that you played as a child that I played as an adult. Yeah, in <laughs> chat. <laughs> Uh, just a, a B shot in level 40. Let's do it. Oh, wait, no, it wasn't Darkwing Duck. It was uh, uh, Donald's, like, superhero alter ego. Uh, uh, what was that? Ego? Yeah, he does in the, in the comics. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't remember this at all, no. And his car is, like, a Bond car, basically. Yeah, and he has like a... In this game he had like a gauntlet that was like just everything gauntlet. I remember like he had like a, a proper like superhero identity. What was it? What was this? In Norwegian he's like a... a he, his name is a spoof on the Phantom. Yeah, Phantomas or something like, like that. Yeah. It could have just been like his Phantom name, Duck or something, man. His, his name in the Norwegian was Phantomold. No, we're not talking about Darkwing Duck, because Darkwing Duck isn't Donald Duck. Yeah. Yes. I'm gonna Google. Donald Duck superhero identity. Or like Darkwing Duck known associates. No, that that those universes don't overlap. I thought you just Apparently said they did. Is, Apparently this is very, very like one of the more searched things in normal <laughs> on English, like it's an English name. Apparently in English he's named the Duck Avenger. The Duck Avenger? Yeah. No, I've never heard of it. In Swedish and Danish he's named the Steel Duck. Hmm. In Norwegian he's just named Phantomold, which is just, you know, spoof on the Phantom. That makes sense. Because the, because the Phantom is also very popular in Norwegian. Hmm. In Norway, I mean. <laughs> the German name was is similar. I remember reading a lot of the Phantom as a kid too. The only Which comic I read as a kid was Sonic. And it didn't turn out a furry. There's proof. I don't. Hmm. Sonic I comics never... don't turn you furry. I remember I never like did anything related to Sonic except for when I visited one of my friends who had like every single Sonic game. Oh, I mean, I played I just... the games too. You know? I just didn't have an interest in Sonic at all back then. Gotta go fast. Yeah, 
I completely avoided Sonic as well. Like, oh. none of my friends had anything Sega, so no Sonic for me. Wow. And I was so jealous of a friend of mine who had, like, Spider-Man games to PlayStation 1. <laughs> <laughs> God, that was one when I was, like, in fucking, like, first or second grade. Like, I was, I was like, uh, like, 10 or 11 years old back then. Good grief. <laughs> Lucky life found you, say. And he had a Spider-Man game, and you could play as uh, Carnage, I think? Oh no, Carnage was like the villain in that game. Was it just, wasn't that just based on the Maximum Carnage comic? Probably. It, it might like even have been called Maximum Carnage. I vaguely remember Probably. this game. Oh it was yeah. the like PS1 oh. game. Rings a bell. This was also the same guy who introduced me to Monster Hunter, because he had Monster Hunter 1 to PlayStation 2. Mm. Oof, oof, rough start. <laughs> <laughs> rough start, but yeah. still in a good way. I guess. He had a lot of Gundam games too. He had like a lot of Japanese games. That guy was just a weeb before I even knew what anime was. <laughs> and a friend that imported a lot of Japanese games. There was this cool one I think on PS2. And it was just like, it was Japanese wrestling, but not like WWF. And you could get like x rays before Mortal Kombat did in this. You could get x rays of breaking the other person's bones. And it just made them fight worse. I have no idea what it's called. I just have very fond memories of playing I, it. I remember seeing something about a game like this, where it's like you wrestle, and the more damage you take, the more the worse you get. Yeah, and you could literally have bones broken, and that would like screw up your your left side or your right side. Yeah. I also remember this guy. Had Which it might have been Android. Dreamcast. I don't remember what console it was on because it had pretty decent graphics for the time, so it might have been Dreamcast. Oh, do you want to know like? Something that will probably make you feel old as fuck. Oh, please do, yeah. I remember my first, like, game in general was... I think I was, like, six... No, yeah, I was, yeah. like, five or six years old. And it was Zelda to Nintendo 64. Jesus. And it had... I think it had been out for a while, a bit then. Oof, oof, oof. <laughs> hello, EVP, where have you been? You're late. I mean, hello, how are you? My first my console. first game. Oh, on you go. Okay, you go in. My first okay, con. I'll go ahead. Yeah, you go first, because that will okay. work, work out which one of us is older. Real quick, first game that I remember playing: Sim Ants on MS DOS. Go. Uh, Atari, then some numbers after it, and it was Centipede. You win. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, the first Atari home console. That's the the first game I remember playing. Okay. Yeah, you win. Then my friend had a Commodore 64, but that was a bit later. You did miss Donald Duck Talk. You did miss a lot of Donald Duck Talk. Yeah. Quick, uh, EVP, what's the engineer guy from uh, DuckTales called in Scientist. your language? Scientist guy. Yeah. The one who makes all the inventions. Yeah. Yes. In German, he's called Daniel Dusentrieb, which that's... is uh, Daniel uh, Jet Engine. <laughs> See, that, that's funny. Though. I mean, if he, if Donald does go into a superhero persona, he would be the strongest character in Final Fantasy. Yes, yeah, he would be. Camera cool, yeah. Because he was doing his big attack. Yeah. It's like then he exploded. In the comics, he was like actually like unbeatable when he was like in the Super Zero persona. Yep. Very out of character for him. Yeah, so he I was guess. like actually just flawless when he was a superhero. Since he was like a, I think he was like a spoof on like Batman. You were at an Pretty arcade much. with a friend. That's not doing nerd stuff or working. The only two acceptable reasons not to be here. Kind of nerdy. Social nerdy. Were you at the arcade playing Time Crisis 1? Were you winning, son? I remember when I was a kid, I played so many games that I literally never got finished. Oh, back in the like, early days of the NES, games were super short, so they made them super hard to get longevity out of them. 
up. Yeah, but I didn't live. The Game Boy games like that. Yeah. I remember I never got past like the the like first section of the town in Legend of Zelda because I got scared of the skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> remember, I was like five years old. <laughs> it's adorable. <laughs> oh, it's sleeping. I'm already in the air. Sorry. The inventor guy. The inventor guy, guy yeah. Him. Yeah, the inventor guy, yes. You want a Pikachu plush? Does it come with free COVID? Yes. It comes with a free Pikachu. Billy Burple. Okay. It's a fun man. Does, does that name mean anything? Willy Burple. A Wartle is a boat thing, isn't it? Yeah, there was a comic where... Willy um... Carrot, <laughs> okay. Oh. Ah, I see. <laughs> I mean, carrots make you smart, I guess. I guess. No, they just make you see better. Yeah, you can see science better. <laughs> oh, you can see the science. I don't even see the vials anymore, I just see the science. <laughs> Oh, speaking of like weird language things, carrots. Do you want to know what that is in Norwegian? Sure. Uh, yellow roots. They're not yellow though. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, you can get yellow carrots. Only if they're purple carrots, even. You can purple get carrots. carrots in. Yes, you can get carrots in all kinds of colors. Why though? Why not? I don't know. The because the the naturally, carrot. carrots occur in different colors. Just. At some point, people decided we want orange carrots. Aren't you glad they, they didn't did do that to bananas? They did that just to fuck with Norway, who had decided on yellow roots for the name. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. I'm out. I think he's built up too much resistance. Yeah. Here. I remember there was also like a secret organization doll joined by accident, which I think was like uh, a parody of the Men in Black. <laughs> and he was like a super agent who accidentally did things correctly. So he was Johnny English before Johnny English was a thing. That's a James Bond parody starring Ron Atkinson. Oh, that reminds me. Um, my grandpa actually had like the the first Norwegian issue of the uh, Dolduck. That sounds like something that might be worth a lot of money these days. Yeah, too bad I don't know where the fuck it is. <laughs> Since I remember, I had like I read that a lot. Yeah, in that case, it's probably not worth it's anything probably anymore. Worth anyways, touched it. I touched it. A child has enjoyed this product. It's worthless <laughs> now. But, yeah, I remember my grandpa gave me that. Has been taken out of its protective foil. Just like magic cards, when you like touch them yeah. while putting them in foil, and you've already ruined it. I've seen those early magic cards. They, they're garbage. <laughs> That's why. That's why the oil from your fingers wrecked them. Um, apparently, like. I don't know like anything about magic, other than that a friend of mine told me that like apparently in some of the earliest cards are like some of the most overpowered cards there. Yeah, they've all been banned from like standard. Play. Yeah, they're worth a lot of they, money. They didn't like, they didn't basically do a Dragon Ball but that every new thing is stronger than old things. Yeah. If you do that, you run out of like power at some point. Or you end up like Yu-Gi-Oh, where there's like 30 minutes of chains. Oh yeah, true. You could end up like Yu-Gi-Oh. Nobody wants to end up like Yu-Gi-Oh. I watched a friend of mine play Yu-Gi-Oh. It was like wild. I didn't understand anything that was happening. I understand it a little bit because I was addicted to the PSP Yu-Gi-Oh games for a while. Each of the rounds took like actually 10 minutes and it was all just animations of chains going on. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound this like the version that, that, that summons that's, that's... this and that summons this and then you lose. And then they fuse, Thank and you, then they friends. summon another thing, and then the trap card goes off, and then the spell card goes off, and then the spell card summons this, and summons that, and then the fuse, and then that summons that, and then the chain to that. 
Can I do 32 damage. Your dad had then a you Superman uh, issue one and your mother threw it away thinking it was trash? The most parent thing. Absent shot. That would have been worth a lot of money. The most parent thing. To be fair, back when they probably threw out, it was probably true because eBay might not have existed. They, they can't have known. Oh, his mum, sorry, so his grandmother, yeah. That makes more sense age wise, yeah. Considering Batman and Superman have been around for like 80 years. Superman did the old. I think the oldest comic I have in my house is like an old issue of Mad Magazine. It's yeah. in black and white and makes fun of Little Farm on the Prairie that tells you <laughs> how recent it is. Yeah, I remember Little Farm on the Prairie. What was Donald's like lucky cousin named in your language? I don't remember uh, him having a lucky cousin. <laughs> Gustav Gans, which Gans. means uh, Gans is just a goose. Goose. Oh right, wait, the, the evil goose. guy with the the scarf. No, no, no. He's just like he's he's literally just a duck that has like wavy hair, and he's super lucky. Yes. I don't remember this guy at all. And no. he says, "Well, tries to get the daisy." Yeah. That's he's not named, cool. He's named Anton Duck in Norwegian. Hmm. There's also like, oh, it was the the grandma as well, and her like mm. overweight help. I remember, I remember them. I can picture them in my head. I don't know what they're called. But I also be confusing it with the maid from Count Duckula. I'm pretty sure the grandma was literally called Grandma Duck in Norwegian, at least. Um, I don't remember what the like overweight one was, but he was a goose. Two gems. Got more essence from having the uh, loot bird. Interesting. Mm. Oh, appa apparently her like help was named Guffin. Guffin. In Norwegian, at least. <laughs> He's so cute. I'm pretty sure this is probably the only place on Twitch right now you can find people discussing names of Donald Duck characters in foreign languages. Let me let me post. Uh, can I post links? In you cannot. Chat? No, you can in Discord. Yeah. Okay, I'll post a link in Discord about uh, what Guppen looks like. Do you ever remember this? Why guy? is this a GIF? Anyway, why why isn't that a GIF? Oh, this guy. I remember this guy. I I do not recognize this person at all. I think, he's, I think he's only in the comics. Yeah, he's only in the comics. I don't remember his name, though. Apparently his name is Gus. Gus. Uh, that'll be something different for me. Duffin. <laughs> okay, car guild card list. How far is court? That's Gus Gans, says PvP. 33. Okay, so another 40. Do I have another 40? What level are you guys? Yes, another Barrett, level 40, off we go. No, okay. Boy, grinding the same monsters for levels, so sure we'll never get the boring. It feels like the old fashioned Monster Hunter. Yep. It's just like, you know, the Deviants, where we have to do the same quest a billion times just to get, get the armor set. Yep. And then never do it ever again. Correct, yeah. But here you could gamble on extra stats on armor you are already, already wearing. Gambling, my favorite thing. That's why I play all those gacha games. <laughs> you find it funny we basically became a Donald Duck podcast? <laughs> For now. <laughs> this is yeah, but not a, not an actual Donald Duck podcast, but uh, about the comics that, like, That's only Europe got. 
See, that that was like my only experience with Donald Duck. I didn't even know that there was like TV shows and shit like that, like cartoons about him for yeah, same. I was like at least 16, I would say. Hmm. Since they didn't show that on like uh, like uh, Disney in Norway. They couldn't be asked translating it, maybe? Oh, maybe. The, only, the first time I saw it was in Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, I think. Hmm. That's when hmm. I, like, saw it for the first time. That's where you get indoctrinated to, like, Disney products. <laughs> if you don't love the mouse, he will love your mother. Oh, <laughs> maybe just the camps we had here? Mm. Oh. oh yeah, a... I there's a new there's a new animated uh, series like animated cartoon about Donald Duck and where I I saw uh, there's a story about his sister, which was I the only reason why I watched it was because I saw one of the voice actors is Zavala from Destiny Two, <laughs> and he plays a Blue Moon Man again. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, imagine being typecast. <laughs> to blue man. It's, to, it's to blue man, yeah. It's literally the same character, too. <laughs> Except this time, he's the one doing the invading. He's been Nolan Northed. God, I wish Nolan North was just a flying ball that was following <laughs> him around. That would be. <laughs> <clears throat> Wasn't there an, a, a voice actor in Destiny that was so bad they had to like change him? Well, not voice actor. It was uh, what's his celebrity. name? Celebrity. Yeah. Uh, oh, damn it! What's his name? The little guy from Game of Thrones. Yeah, Thorns. I know. I know who you mean. But that was the guy Nolan North replaced. Yes. Ah, I see. It was just that he'd never done a game before and he didn't like emote well. Yeah, he just sounded very deadpan. Yeah. He, he wasn't you know. putting any emotion in. He w he's not a voice actor, and people don't seem to realize that voice acting is different from acting. What's his bloody name? It's on the tip of my tongue. It was also too expensive, apparently. Too expensive to do more. Whereas Nolan North is cheap. Nolan North is also really good at that, like, job, though. Like, he is really good at as Ghost. I mean, he has to be really Peter good Dinklage. because he's in everything. Uh, yeah. Peter like, Dinklage is his name. Yes. Honestly, it's like I'm I'm very happy about that because Ghost is like one of my favorite characters in Destiny. He's just funny. I, guess I love he must I have love added that personality after I played it. Yeah, he has all the. <laughs> he's he is your character's personality because he speaks for you. Is he basically he's... the cat from Exomon? What is that? Exomon is a Pokemon ripoff that's now available on Switch for the record. Which I played for a little bit on stream, and it has an exceptionally sarcastic cat that is basically my spirit animal. Because he just kept yeah. on pointing out all the cliches and everything wrong with what's going on at all times. Ghost isn't as much like... Uh, he's kind of like a cherry gullible character. And the cat, and the, the the player is like a mute kind of, you know, serious yeah, character. Yeah, silent protagonist, yeah. Yeah. But you're also a dumbass. <laughs> hmm. So you're like the hunter, then. Yeah, you're literally the hunter. You're like kind of a silent, like serious person who's also dumbass. I wish the hunter was silent. And this, <laughs> yeah. Barrett, come back! And people kind of treat you like the ultimate weapon. Like, uh, I remember last time they played in the story, uh, Zavala, Zavala literally sends you in as like the secret weapon against the alien faction. Hmm. They were, he, he basically went to like the main bad guy and said, I can tell tell them that you have a shiny weapon and they will go ham. <laughs> that was the voice actor doing a spoof in, on Twitter, by the way, not like the actual game. Ah, oh, right, yeah. But he did actually like just send the, like, the player against them as a secret weapon, which is kind of funny. Uh... Of those games yep. and services, you have to make the player seem like they're super important because that keeps people inter interested. Yeah. It does also have a like the, kid, the story characters are pretty fun. Gotta give people a reason to stick around, not like Outriders. I'm pretty sure that like uh, the, it sparked some outrage among, among the, the gamers' trademark when two of the characters were revealed as being gay. But. 
I don't know. I don't think I see that much like. Was that just ticking a box, or was that important to the story? I think they've been that for like a while, like for a very long time. It's just one of the characters is a time travel. Isn't it weird that video games only started having gay representation when it became profitable? Yeah. I mean, I'd rather have it done, you know, none. I mean, I guess. I guess, but it's hard to celebrate it. Yeah. I mean, Bungie seems it's almost as if there's a problem with capitalism. Hmm. Bungie is very, like, active about such things, as since they literally told off their player base when people yelled at them for being too progressive. I mean, I guess. Aren't they one of the companies that are in bad with being rude to women? I it might be incorrect, uh, allegedly, allegedly, etc. They're no longer. No, no, they, they've no. split off from Activision. Oh, yeah, they, that's right, this, they're not in Activision. This happened, this happened like two years after they split. Yeah, okay. That's partly why I gave in and got the Epic Launcher, it's just it really is too tiring to keep track of every company that's shit. Because <laughs> yeah. it's all of them. And, yeah, almost. basically. Pretty much. It's the whole thing about, like, if I give almost a shit... Almost as if there's a problem with the system. <laughs> it's the whole thing about, like, if I uh, were it's really sad game today, like again. that, I would have to treat all the games Ow. like that, and then I would just stop playing games. That's pretty much the position I was in, yeah. And I was like, I want to play... Yep. I want to play Dragon Ball in Fortnite, so I'll just do it. It's also just the whole thing about, like... If I were to hate a company for being shit, I would stop playing Monster Hunter because I hate Capcom. <laughs> Uh, yeah, pretty lazy. Yeah. I was playing Destiny 2 when you had a Twitch baby. I didn't play much of Destiny 2, so I'm surprised you remember that. Because I despise both Destiny games. You remember when I mean, the baby was born? Yeah, you, you must have given one of the Twitch babies a Destiny name, man. That's why they remember. I mean, Destiny why? 2 and 1 didn't have any characters at launch. Too, there, yeah. No, there was it's nothing. Story mode. It's just it's story mode. I mean, I did play it. I was certainly doing things, but it didn't have character. It was like I remember the the, uh, the man was was chained up by the bad guy. Yeah, yeah. And made the you are you are like correct that the story didn't get good before like the second expansion or something, the third maybe. And that's where the game picked up. Oh, I named the Twitch baby. Pierre Dinklage. <laughs> That's why they remember. That makes sense. Wait, did you play when Pierre Dinklage was the voice actor for Yes. Yeah, yeah oh, I played no. Destiny 2 at launch. Yeah, that was bef way before it got good. Yeah, I know, because it was shit. I do actually remember that I really wanted to play Destiny 2, but I didn't have a uh, PS3? Or was it PS4 at that time? I, I thought I played it on PC. I think it was 4. But I might be misremembering. I didn't have the way to play it since I also didn't have a PC back then. But yeah, I remember I wanted to play it, but I couldn't. Yeah, the, the characters in Destiny 2 at the start of the game did get kind of genocided. So yeah, as much as I like Destiny, I can't really play it right now. Uh, you're playing I... too much Fortnite. That too, but it's also just because like the one I play with, is... I play with him literally every side of the time. But he's currently affected by a bug that makes uh, matchmaking turn off. Oh. Uh. So, literally can't go into anything. The game doesn't work anymore, hmm. and there's no there's no solution to it. Well, I'm sure we'll get right on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's only been happening for six months now. Mm, wow. Well. So we just stopped playing the game because we couldn't do anything. Like when you queue into strikes, it's just empty. Yeah. Can't get into PvP matches. So that is fun. <laughs> You're actually to sleep. Oh, 
Oh. I'm not riding it. <laughs> I really don't yeah. want to, so I was avoiding it as well. Same. But I got it. Randomly fall out the air, I see, okay. Oh, right. Apparently there has been like a leak to Fortnite that about the Destiny 2 collab. Yeah. From like a leaker that is like fairly reliable, like he's been correct every <laughs> single time. So that might be interesting. Sounds a little lackluster compared to getting Dragon Ball rights. Been a lot, pretty much all the Fortnite story characters are based on this. <laughs> story characters? Yes, like Dwayne the Rock Jones. Oh, right. He's a, he has a comic with Batman, by the way. Is that the Batman Who Laughs one? No. Wait, maybe. Because there is there's a Batman a... Who Laughs comic for Fortnite. Yeah, probably is that then. Where, like, uh, the Foundation teams up with Batman. This is where my parents died, The Rock. <laughs> <laughs> this is where my parents died, Dwayne. Has anyone done that? Like, it's done a montage of Batman saying that line just to every character you can be with in Fortnite. <laughs> this is where my parents died, Thanos. This is where my parents died, Beerus. <laughs> this is where my parents died, Ariana Grande. Well, yeah, that was pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I feel I feel like every time like people make shit posts with Fortnite, it's always LeBron James or Ariana Grande. Isn't LeBron James in multiverses or is he in Fortnite yeah. too? Yeah, he's a he's an actual. Oh yeah, but Batman's in that as well, I guess. So yeah. Yeah, since uh, LeBron James is more is Warner Brothers property. <laughs> yep. He dared to star in a, a very bad movie for them. The he, problem is, he is theirs the forever. Is that he stars in the movie, but he's playing himself as a character in the movie, so they own yeah. the character of LeBron James. Yep. <laughs> to be fair, he is like super good, like he's a really good character in the game. So yeah, you can team Batman with Batman, here's where my parents died, Batman. <laughs> here's where my parents died, armored Batman from Star Wars. <laughs> God, imagine if they had the Thomas away into the Thomas Wayne skin. <laughs> I swear my parents died. died. <laughs> I'm kinda of surprised they haven't done the skin for him. When are they adding uh Tina Smith Moon returns to Fortnite though? Yeah, that seems like such an easy thing to do as well. Oh. I want to play a shredder actually. Yeah, that'd be better. What has been happening this hunt? I've not paid any attention to Neither anything have I ever on my stream. Hey. get into that point in the stream. Same, it's just like blurring for me what we're doing in the game. <laughs> it's almost dead, so we're doing something right. <laughs> this entire hunt is like a blur. Oh, an Alfred skin and then only use shotguns, that would be great. Yeah. I still wish I could play as Bane. There's still time, they could do more DC collabs. Uh, maybe. I doubt they're gonna do one for that Flash movie, but still. Ooh. I think it might explode. The next Marvel one they'll probably do will be for Black Panther. I mean, Black Panther does have like a great ass on the I just really want to play as Bane in everything, because Bane is, like, design-wise my favorite DC character. Hmm. I've always liked Bane. I like Bane. There goes my headset, it turned off. You can't hear us quick say things. Good timing. Where's my charger? <laughs> Let's have a whole conversation about Bane so you can't take part afterwards. Yes. Hello, I'm back. And that's all the reasons that Bane is awesome. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not repeating myself. <laughs> oh yeah, the She-Hulk skin in, in Fortnite is so good and I can never get it, I'm upset. Why can you never get it? It was in the Battle Pass and they don't return. Oh. Wait, wait, they did a Marvel Battle Pass? Yeah, apparently. I mean, Doctor Strange was in the Battle Pass last time. Oh yeah, he was only. Okay. 
they could technically bring her back by just doing a different version. Yeah, but like the She-Hulk skin is so good. Like it I looks seen so it. nice. I've never seen anyone use it either, I think. Yeah. There's also Red She-Hulk, which is technically the same skin, just you know, different variation of it. But Red She-Hulk is a different person in the yeah. comics. Don't question it. That's what's her name, that's Bruce's girlfriend. Yeah. Don't question it. <clears throat> They look the same, except red and green, and white streak in their hair. Yeah. Well, I could have added a sort of harpy, was it? She, she's also harpy, but then she's a monster. The only downside, this is a minor spoiler for Shioku, like super duper not important spoiler, but a minor spoiler. It is now canon in the MCU that Professor Hulk's name is Smart Hulk. Which is just a dumber name, ironically, than Professor Hulk, and I'm <laughs> disappointed in it. Because he's Professor Hulk, damn it! Uh, can't believe they didn't call him Hulk, but with a PhD. <clears throat> PH Hulk? <laughs> yeah, PH Hulk. Post a thing. Oh yeah, I gotta see uh, about Court's uh, level. Guild card, card list, Court. I am... 35! So, still 40. No. Oof. Hulk. You don't have Disney Plus, do you, Cars? You've not watched She Hulk. No. I have Prime the Video, Shima. I think. But First episode was good, it doesn't necessarily mean the rest will be, though. I kinda wanna watch The Boys since I have access to it now, but I also don't really care. Yeah, because I didn't have access to it, I just read a synopsis of the comic instead. Oh, the comic sucks. I, I didn't <laughs> think it sounded that bad. It's I have run out of 40s. It's just oh, it's well, post well, too much, and it goes on for too long. <clears throat> well, so does the TV show. They're up to like season four. Uh, is 41 uh, okay, or is 40 the absolute cutoff? 40 is the absolute maximum we can do. Uh, I don't have any 40s. Oh wait, Kezu? Just Kezu? Just Kezu. I feel like the guy who acts as Homelander in the then. show is pretty good. Like he's really good at making he's... you just feeling really uncomfortable with the character. I've seen clips. Yeah, the comic was written by a guy who hates superheroes, and it really shows in the voice. That's the whole point, though. He's a, yeah. that, that is the whole point. Like, what if it's superheroes true. were flawed like the rest of us and absolute assholes? No, I think the problem is just, like, they go too much into that, like, you know, whole thing about, like, <laughs> if you get superpower, if a superpower, you're bad now. Uh, Since there's, like, literally not a single good person in the show. It's, it's uh, pretty comic. true, though. If anyone in real life had superpowers, they would exploit them in some fashion. Even if it's a minor fashion, they would still exploit them, like getting to work faster or something. But I do think the show just does it better, because they kind of make it entertaining. <laughs> they make it so, like, over the top that it looks like it could be real, but it, it's the whole thing about, like, it's so, like, realistic in a very self-aware way. <clears throat> and I feel like the the comic kind of lost that self-awareness. Possibly. Are you familiar with the, the other comic, the guy who did the comic did? Called uh, Preacher? One. No. I don't know if I that one. That was like, part of it was turned into a series. But that, uh, spoilers for the comic book, Preacher, it, it ends with Preacher literally shooting God in the head. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> I see, it's an anime. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. It's a JRPG. And it's true, most JRPGs and enemies end with with fighting God. Oh. Attack and dethrone God. As a 12 year old. With the power of friendship. No. And anime on your side. <laughs> no. Like everyone's sleeping, we can talk about She-Hulk a little bit. Like we can mention what the running joke in episode 1 that's very funny is without saying what the punchline is. I'm sure. If anyone has a problem with that, fuck off. I mean, leave politely. She-Hulk is running with the belief, mostly just to annoy Bruce, that she believes that Captain America died a virgin, so she's exceptionally sad about that. And it just it runs through the entire episode until an after credits scene that is very, very funny. Hmm. And she shouts something very, very loudly that cuts off just in time to stop her saying a swear. And it's very funny. So, in the, in the She-Hulk show, like, is she in, like, Hulk form, or is she just, like, Lawyer mode. She changes when she wants to. 
Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if there was, like, there was... Wait, how many episodes is there of it right the, now? Apparently there's going to be nine, but there's only been one so far. But Okay. So I was wondering if it, like, started out before she got gets powers. It does, yeah. The, it it starts with her... She, she doesn't get them in quite the same way. She has an open wound and Bruce's blood drips into it. Oh, I see. Just, you know, one-to-one -one contact and yeah. all that. Yeah, to keep the budget of a show down, she, she isn't uh, She-Hulk a lot. And sometimes it's POV shots or just her hands. So you're yeah, saying she, the, she changes the, it well. The, the opposites of what she's in the comics, where she's basically she Hulk mode all the time. Yeah, she chooses to be in, in Hulk form because she's not ashamed of yeah. it, etc. But by the end of the season, that might be what she's at. Because her whole thing yeah. is she's trying to hide it because she doesn't want to be a hero, she wants to be a lawyer. <laughs> Which is about as far from hero as you can get. The fucking uh, Moon Knight thing. Oh, fuck a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> I mean, it could be worse. She could be a cop. True. <laughs> it's also pretty far from Super. <laughs> like, the actress who plays her is really, really good. She, she has to run the gamut emotionally in that first episode from, like, serious to sarcastic to breaking the fourth wall. Uh -oh. Like, whoever, I don't know what else she's been in, but she's really good. Oh. This Kazu be slapping. It do be slapping. Is this on only on Disney Plus? Yes. Okay, I'm never gonna watch it then. Do what I'll do once I cancel Disney Plus at some point and just watch highlights on YouTube. I will. Don't worry. That's how I get most of my like uh, subscription shows. Wait, that's a Magnum Allo. What the hell am I doing? Where's the? Fun? That's that's what I've gotten. Uh, all my info from the boys from as well, just clips on YouTube. Yeah, I've seen clips on YouTube as well. <laughs> it's handy for that. I imagine all the clips of jokes and whatnot from... I've had a, I bet if you go to YouTube right now and do like She-Hulk episode 1, there'll be like compilations of just the times where she is in She-Hulk form. Sure, there's gonna be like one video uploaded two minutes ago that also is just the entire episode. And then I'll get, oh, right. get deleted quite quickly, but you might have the chance yeah. to watch it. There is a very fun She-Hulk Hulk fight in the episode. They fight a lot. Oh. Well, luckily this is a five-part hunt. <laughs> I I literally just wire bug into that. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, he's leaving. Good. I guess this uh, this is a uh, wake up of that. I just zone out until <laughs> <laughs> now. You forgot that she helped broke the fourth wall. I only learned that just before the series series launched because of that trivia book I have and read questions from sometimes. Wait, does have, she break the fourth wall? She does, because when she first launched in comics, this is thanks to this trivia book, there was a big flop. A couple oh. of years went by, someone else took over, said, give me another chance with this character. And they decided to make her break the fourth wall. And the example in the book is a cover where she's shouting at the reader, buy this comic or I'll eat the X-Men. <laughs> the threat worked. <laughs> so yeah, she broke she broke the fourth wall before Deadpool and, and all that. And that's her thing. And she does it in the show and it works. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that about her. You should watch the trailer for her. Not the very first trailer that people got rightfully annoyed with because it made it look very bad. The second trailer made it look very good because it made it, it showed it off how it actually is. It's a mixture of action and comedy. I can't believe first superhero who's into war. Confirm. Mm -hmm. Well, this is Trivia, you say? Okay, well, I... I did say trivia, but I was also... It wasn't a question, though. I, I can give you Simpsons trivia, because I was watching Simpsons today while painting. What is Superintendent Chalmers' first name? Steve. Bonus points also if you say which semi-recurring new character is his daughter. Steve. It's not Steve. I would have accepted Frank, although that's not the right answer. Damn. I just would have accepted it in general. You're saying Frank isn't his daughter? No. Frank is the secret villain of my Fallout series. <laughs> I can't wait for a game where just a villain is actually just named Frank. It exists, and it's I my Fallout series! <laughs> You can tell I'm on autopilot because I was doing like every other game's gun lance except this one, so I just Wait. wasn't using Oh, skins. that's the only part that isn't a real wall. I didn't even look at the wall. <laughs> <laughs> it 
Superintendent Chalmers' first name is Gary. Gary. And his daughter Gary. is named Shauna. I would never have guessed any of those. No, me neither. <clears throat> Gary's. It's a name that I never hear. It's literally Ciara's name. I never hear his name. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe is Gary Oak. He is Gary Oak, yeah. Or as my friend always named him when he played Pokemon, Stinky Butt. <laughs> the fart. <laughs> I don't even remember what I named, like, the rival in Pokemon games as a kid. Put a snail down. I, also, I also don't n remember what I named myself in my games when I was a kid. Because I know I didn't use my actual name. This is a here, Ash is a loser. And Cor, are you aware of like why Reverse Flash hates Flash? Generally I mean, speaking, because I'm sure there's right. variants. Like, in it general, or Thorn, or Eobard Thorn. Eobard Thorn. Yeah, uh, isn't it that he's like a super fan from the future who went fucking crazy because uh, he knew that he would uh, get more attention by being his villain than? Or no, it was the the Flash came to the future to beat him up. Something like that. The way I understand it, now this might be like it's probably been retcon to something uh -oh. different now, but he met the Flash in the future and then the Flash said like hey stick with it, get a bit faster and then he took it as a personal attack and basically went full psychopath and used that as motivation to just ruin Barry's life. I see. I think like the one the one I know of is that he's a super fan of the Flash from the future who worked in the Flash Museum. And I think at one point he learned that he is the Flash's greatest villain, and it just broke him mentally. Oh. Because he was, you know, Flash's biggest fan. I'm pretty sure that's what it was in the TV show. But he just had a very slight, like, he felt slightly insulted by the Flash, so he dedicated his life to ruining his. I mean, he's very petty. Yeah, exceptionally petty, basically. <laughs> hmm. It's just that it, it was me, Flash. <laughs> it was me, Barry. It was me, Barry, yeah. And where, where that meme? <laughs> yeah, he's kind of like Syndrome, I guess. It's like he's both like really, really petty and really fucked up. Because he does like horrible shit as well. Like, he includes like. Tons of innocence mm -hmm. just because they would piss off uh, Barry. Yeah. Like, full, full psychopath. <laughs> With a grudge to bear. The only reason I bring it up is because that's my inspiration for my follow villain. <laughs> Frank. Frank, yeah. He, he's been slighted Good once and now, it's, and now he's dedicated <laughs> his life <laughs> to ruining everyone else's. <laughs> yep. You mildly inconvenienced me once. You yep. will regret that. He ran away from a death claw. That's what did it. <laughs> He's held a grudge ever since. Oh, I see. Well, and he tried to kill them all and didn't do it. So, you know. Made him look it's weak like, in front of the other raiders. It's like another Flash villain that I know of, but I don't remember his backstory. But it's also like kind of stupid. Um, Godspeed? I was just going to say, I bet you're about to say Godspeed, yep. Yeah, I don't remember his backstory at all. I just remember he had like a stupid backstory. Is he the one that just wants to be the fastest person alive so he's killing people who are faster than him? I think so, yeah. He's, he And he can split into two because he like tell, travels like one second into the future. Yeah, he's he's in the TV show and he has a bunch of like other copies of himself, yeah. Yeah. That's like his thing. I haven't seen that season of the Flash show, but I know that Reverse Flash and Flash team up to beat him, and they use lightsabers made of Speed Force, uh, I see. which is apparently from the comics. Oh yeah, mm. did you know that Deathstroke is a speedster too? Is he? He has a he has a suit that lets him like run at super speeds as well. 
Huh. Huh. Everybody's got everything. Flash. That's how we dealt with the flash. How do you feel about Red Hood in the upcoming Gotham Knights video game having fart powers because he came back from the dead? Yeah. Does he come back to the dead all the time? Yes, but in the game, he's been given magic powers by being brought oh. back from the dead, and he gets around by doing like the. You know the Devil May Cry like double jump? He, a platform appears under Dante. He's got that, but it's a yeah. fart cloud. I see, he can fart to really hard now. <laughs> And he has other, oh, like, he imbues his guns with magic and stuff. It, it's, it doesn't feel right. Didn't Ra's al Ghul also have, like, magic powers in the Arkham games? The Arkham games aren't the same continuity, but no. Not really. Oh, Batman, yeah, Batman like... was drugged up during that sequence. Oh, okay. It wasn't real. Yeah. He was drunk yes, on there... demon blood. I remember that you fought him in, like, in a weird arena. Yeah, you fight him as, like, a sand out. monster, but every so often during the fight it flashes to what the reality is. Ah, see. Yeah, I just remember Rage <laughs> having like a really weird fight. Oh. But the thing I will always hate Arkham for the Arkham games for is uh, Deathstroke. Yeah, they kind of didn't do him right. Well, that was on the the one that we don't count. I mean, it's also just the whole thing about like Deathstroke is a very hard villain to do in Batman games since Batman can't really fight him one on one. They should do a decent Teen Titans game and have him be the villain. Just need to include his daughter so he can torment her as well. <laughs> Have you seen what Red Hood looks like in that game without his costume on? No, but I can Google. Please do, because I absolutely despise how he looks. What is it named? Jason Todd, Gotham Knights. Gotham. Okay, Gotham. He's got like a scar down his cheek, he's really, really bulky, he's got a skinhead. Damn, he looks like Flash Thompson from like. He does look like Flash Thompson, you're right. But yeah, I oh really... Why is he so beefy? I don't know. They've just decided that's what he looks like and he has magic powers now. I I don't, like he Jason looks Thomas. fine in his suit. Like, I've got no issue with him as Red Hood. But out of his suit, like, I hate it. I feel like Jason has always been like depicted as slightly skinnier than Batman. Yeah, he's never been whiter than him. Yeah. Like, all of the Robins, when they get adult, have always been depicted as skinnier. Like, more like agile. Yep. But I guess he's he is like the more brutish one out of the Robins. But he does less physical stuff because he just shoots everyone. <laughs> Hello, Alico. Yeah, but he he trains his trigger finger that much. Mm. Oh, with his non-lethal armor-piercing bullets, which are a thing. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Imbued by magic. Yep. yep. Somehow non-lethal. I, I, I'm looking forward to playing that game, although I think it is going to be like absolutely panned, especially because of how bad the, the acting and writing is. They showed off the first ten minutes of the game, and it's not good. Seeing him like next to, I'm assuming. I don't have any forties. Someone post no, a forty. No, no, uh, which wait, which Robin is in the game? Tim Drake, although he's accidentally Tim wearing Drake. one of Damien's costumes as a default. Yeah, I was going to say, is that Damien? It is not Damien, even though it really should be. For the yeah. story to matter, remember, knows Tim. A fucking Red Hood next to him is giant. Yep. <laughs> I've got a great Azuchi with. Oh, someone else put it, fair enough. I think the, the design I will always associate with Red, the Red Hood is just the one from Under the Red, the movie, the animated movie. Yeah, which is just like his default. Yeah. Apparently, like Anyone? the version in the game is loosely based on the what was it called when he when he went off on his own with like Starfire and an Arsenal, mm. uh, like rene Renegades or something, Rebels, something like that. No, it was another like word. I thought he had like a long hair in that. Well, I haven't seen what he looked like in terms of not in his costume, but his costume is more like he's got a, a hood over his hood. <laughs> or his mask. He has the actual hood. Yeah, like, th there's a Batman miniature game miniature based on that run of comics. And he's got, like, he uses the crowbar that killed him as one of his weapons. Because he's edgy like that. Okay, I found, like, I found, like, a render of him. He looks fine there, but everywhere else he looks so, like, wide. Yeah. The, the the engine they're using is not great, I think. But that hopefully is just because they want the gameplay to be smooth. I'm hoping like, the game does have a decent enough story because they're doing the Court of Owls, so... I'm just... I'm just gonna post this, like, image I found in mm -hmm. Discord. Yeah, okay. Like, 
he's so wide compared to the other ones. Yep. Like, look at his chest. Yeah, it's worse when they're not in their costumes. No. But yeah, that's that's their default skins for the game. He does have that like flash dance <clears> look <throat> to him though. Mm hmm. If he was. He has to become form. wide. He has become wide. I guess it's maybe also because they just wanted that stereotype that one character you can play as in a game is the big guy. Beefy boy. Yeah, maybe maybe it's as brain dead as that. They just wanted a beefy guy, <laughs> the sh the short, quick He's one, the knuckles, the girl, and then the one that's okay at everything. <laughs> yes, my favorite character, the girl. <laughs> <laughs> it could be that cynical. Yeah, no, I mean you're right, and like a lot of games does yeah. do that. They could have had it's like the smart one, the strong one, yeah. the fast one, the girl. <laughs> like they could have had her be Oracle and just had Damien and Tim, but then it'd only be men, and you can't be having that. Especially because three of them basically look alike. <laughs> Even though they're not related. Batman Let's just, just say Bruce type. Wayne has a type. He does have a type of orphan. He just really likes that one That doesn't type. make it any better. Even his, isn't his adopted daughter also like short black hair? Does an orphan oh, have short black hair? Cassandra yeah, Cassandra Cain. Right. Yeah, Cassandra yeah. Cain. In the comics, she's his adopted daughter now. Because yeah, he just adopts her. Name. Isn't her superhero name literally Orphan? It was for a while. I think she's been Batgirl at one point as well. Uh, I don't know if she has something else now too. I'm not super <laughs> familiar with her. The smart one, the leader, the smart one, and Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. I can't wait for all of them to like, just have like quirky commentary at every single second of the game. They do, but honestly, the worst part was the stuff the henchmen were just saying. Oh, yes, the quirky commentary as they get beat up. Like, I think they're going for, like, that kind of camp stuff, but the visual style of the game does not match going for the camp. Mm. Like, at one point in the first 10 minutes, a uh, uh, henchman is just, like, pouring gasoline on grass and just randomly saying to himself, burn grass, burn, you'll never grow again. Uh. That's a perfectly normal, normal thing, thing that people say to themselves. Normal people thing. Yeah. I hope they get every single henchman to be in the West Bengal and North again. Oh, that's the other thing. Yeah, it was weird hearing, like, not Nolan North. Oh. And whoever else yeah. did the, the henchmen in the Arkham games. My dreams. If I remember after the stream, I will post the, the first 10 minute video again. And please just watch it just for the dialogue. I don't. Okay. The gameplay is fine, honestly. It's the Avengers game. It's fine. Okay. They've got the big guys. You've got to dodge behind them and punch them. Whatever. But the oh, dialogue and the acting is not great. So, are there more characters than just those, or are those the only? No, characters? it's just them, and there's costumes. Lots and lots of costumes. Are they going to have yeah. every single character in DC as a as a costume? No, it's like just different variants. I, I don't really like the look of any other costumes they've shown off. It's not. It's who, like stuff they've made up. Who do you think is going to get the Azrael costume? I wouldn't be surprised if Azrael was in it. I guess maybe. Yeah, but you know they're they're going to add one as microtransactions. Um, probably Jason. <laughs> oh yeah, if they added like a DLC new playable character, Azrael would probably be a good choice. Yeah, the the Michael Lane version. What other characters could they add? They could just add Batman, even though he's supposed to be dead. But he's not going to be dead, because they're doing the core of Elves. He's going to be lost in their maze. He's not going to be really yeah. dead. They add Terry McGuinness. That'd be fun. Well, the real the real twist would be if he's really dead. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And doesn't come back. That would be interesting. If they're setting up this alternative universe where they just run with that. They'd have to sell well enough, though. Yeah, good luck with that one. I, they might sell well. People are desperate for. I'm not the only one desperate for a new Arkham game, and I know it's not an Arkham game, but it's the closest we're gonna get. Cause that Suicide Squad game ain't an Arkham game either. Wait, there's a Suicide Squad game? Yeah, it's a four-player co-op kind of shooty one. It's been delayed again till next year. Oh, okay. I was gonna say I haven't heard of that. But that's yeah, it's a, they're doing like a. It's set in the Arkham universe, according to them, even though uh, Deadshot is a different ethnicity. Because they, they made him black, even though he's white in the Arkham games. Magic. And they're doing the, like, Brainiac is invading Metropolis. So Superman is a villain. 
heavily with And they've sent Harley Quinn to kill Superman because that makes sense. Yep. Sounds about right. Harley Quinn, Deadshot, King Shark, and Captain Boomerang. Yep, this, all, this all sounds like characters that should be able to take on uh, Superman. Superman, yep. Superman with no yep. morals because he's being mind controlled. Yep, no, uh, I, I can definitely see Captain uh, Captain Boomerang with one v one Superman with full power. Yeah, if you haven't seen the trailer for that one, I'll, I'll try and post that as well because the, the gameplay for it looks like it might be a fun call. Yeah. Please tell me Captain Boomerang on the uses of Boomerangs. He has like teleportation powers for some reason. Like, yeah, Boomerangs gives you that. In one of the trailers, he's like taunting the Flash and whatnot. It's quite fun. And that's another one where like he must be the quick guy. King Shark is the big brute. Deadshot's the okay at everything, and then Harley Quinn's the nutter, and also the lady. The girl. It's, it's literally the same setup as Gotham Knights. The yes. leader, the smart one, the <laughs> strong one, the girl. <laughs> Isn't Dead like isn't Deadshot kind of like the leader in the movie version of the Suicide Squad? Yeah, yeah, he yeah. seems to be the one in charge as well in the game. Yeah, he's the only like sane one. I don't. Yeah, Harley Quinn is sane these days. She's a goodie. Is she in the movie though? Uh, not in the movie universe, and in the Arkham games, she's not really either. No, like I know in the comics nowadays, she's you know sane. Yeah. Okay, th th this Ludroff is beating the shit out of me. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of like DC games, just reminding me of when I played DC News Online. I played that a lot too. Yeah. On the only game where I've ever raided in an MMO, like, <laughs> normally. Wait, you haven't even done it in Final Fantasy? No, that, see, I mean like with randoms. I only oh, do right, right, random right, okay. and fun fancy. But in like Steve, DC Universe Online, I just went into like groups and like, hey, let's do shit. The problem with Final Fantasy is that when you've done one Savage Rage, you've kind of done all of them. Yeah. I remember my days in Dynamis in Final Fantasy XI. The game very isn't very good at variety. I didn't see the new Resident Evil, kidding, no, Netflix or otherwise, nope. Last Resident that's Evil thing the, I saw was 8. That's the one with the uh, split timeline thingy. And Black Wesker or something? Wesker had a, 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 a black daughter, I think it was. I don't think that one was well received, I think. None of them will be well oh. received. Right. Uh, Speak of that, did you know that Frieza has a new form now? Oh, you mean the golden version or beyond that? No. She has gotten a new one. Of course he Black has. Frieza. Oh, that's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> My new powerful. form, blank face. Frieza, no! Don't do it! <laughs> Is now super powerful and can take on Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku <laughs> at the same time. Uh. In one punch. So now they have to get even stronger. Oh. To... <laughs> God's sake. Every time. Yeah, that's another How one. How are they, they gonna get stronger this time? They fell in <laughs> they love with, with Frieza. <laughs> yeah. Fell in love with your villains. Don't do that. Villains are there to, to do bad things and then die. They really should have let Frieza just be dead. <laughs> or villains are there to do bad things oh. and then get stopped and then become part of the team. Well, that's kind of what Frieza did in Super though. He and Goku saved the universe by teaming up. It's a very out of character. Yeah, but then well, they should stay good. Like Vegeta. Yes. They should settle down and become a family man. And then name their daughter Bra. That's just family tradition. I don't think he had anything to do with that. <laughs> What's up? He probably doesn't even know what a Bra is. It's fine. Oh my god! This Ludro is just beating the shit out of me. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! He's comboing me. <laughs> he's gonna grapple me with his super. <laughs> Although, like Chris B was saying the other day, Vegeta knows what kissing is, but Goku doesn't. So what does that tell yeah. you about foreplay between the two of them? 
Queen of Vegeta and Goku. <laughs> <laughs> no, it tells you that Bulma is the more pleased wife. Uh, I mean, I do feel like <laughs> Vegeta is the more like normal person between the two, to be fair. Mm -hmm. Now he's not just a mindless killer. Yeah. Now he's dead. I wish he'd get the moustache back. Oh god, the moustache and the pink shirt. <laughs> that said bad boy on it or something? Bad guy. Bad guy? I think it was bad guy. Bad dad? <laughs> it sounds no, like a, a porn site name. He's a good dad to anyone that isn't trunks. <laughs> Apparently there's like a new movie coming out that is focused on Gohan and Piccolo. Oh, the the true father and son combo. Yeah. Hmm. And I don't know if this is real, but I'm hoping it's fake. Because a friend of mine sent like screenshots of what is apparently the movie. And it has mm -hmm. the dumbest forms I've ever seen in Dragon Ball. More forms. Yep. Gohan gets a new form and so does Piccolo. Does Piccolo turn black also? <laughs> No, he turns into cheese! <laughs> he turns yellow! Yes! Apparently Pic <laughs> Piccolo remembers that he can change sizes, and that's his new form. Why would but changing turns... sizes change color? Because it's power-up. Okay. So he also gets blonde. <laughs> I was just gonna say it's yellow because of Super Saiyans, isn't it? They're out of ideas. But the dumbest one is Gohan's because he gets super like long spiky here and it's completely white yeah, just makes him look like he's old they made Gohan Blanco <laughs> okay yeah but um yeah I don't know I hope it's not real but it seems so fake I, I can't <laughs> see it being real problem with it it's just like I don't I can't tell because Dragon Ball movies are kind of low quality already. So mm. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but that's fine, that means you get to wait and be surprised when you see it. Yeah. Oh yeah, the other thing is that Gohan gets red eyes on the board. He just becomes like... albino? Apparently, yes. That's not a superpower, it's a condition. <laughs> but yeah, I like cheese piccolo though. <laughs> Could oh yeah! Him. What's the name of the forum? Parmesan? <laughs> Wait, let me, let me Google. Google it, Parmesan Piccolo? Swiss Piccolo? Mm Apparently it is real. Let me let me post the picture of Piccolo's new form <clears throat> um, in Discord. Yeah. So this is Piccolo's new form. <laughs> Wait, fuck! That means the other. That means the Gohan form <laughs> is real too. Oh no! Why? He looks extra bulky as well. That's just that's a very low effort new form. He gets like the, what's the word for it? The like mouth part things? Jowls? Yes, jowls. Mm. Oh, there's the- wait, this is tiny, where, where is this? Okay, there we go. This one has to be fake. This one doesn't even look like it's- Hang on, okay. I need to look, I... but I need to kill this thing as well. This one, this one can't be. It can't don't be. Don't forget, tail carve. I don't want no stinking tail carve. It this can one. give you uh, thingy materials. I refuse to believe it. It looks that exactly really. the same style as the other one. It looks yeah, very I similar know. to Super Saiyan 2 form as well. It had hair like that. Like with the one going forwards. That's how Super Saiyan 2 looked, so I could believe it, but it does look overly long. East Gohan? <laughs> Don't forget your carves. Apparently it's just called Orange Piccolo. <laughs> <laughs> They've just given up on funny or clever names, it's just name out color. What will we call the Frieza one? Black Frieza, it's fine. Oh 
don't I need to look more into this? This can't be real. Just wait and watch the movie and be surprised. Also, I will the movie is called Superhero? Yeah. Is that a reference to his time as Cyberman? Maybe. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm wondering which Frieza will be the villain. Wait. <laughs> Owen is wearing the like Piccolo outfit, isn't it, though? Sure, that uh, may be part of the plot. Like, he even has the cape in some of the pictures. Fathers and sons sometimes wear the same thing. Mm. And he did it when he was younger as well. Yeah. Like, Goku's back, sort of, I think, in the Cell Saga, and he's like, no, give me a costume that looks like Piccolo's. Oh, well, yeah, remember when, father. like... When, when, remember when, like, people had the power to, like, make clothing out of thin air? Mmm... No? Wait, yeah, Piccolo, Piccolo can. Like, That's because yeah, he's, he's half like... god. He can do that, he's half god, he's allowed. Anyway, that, that was two and a half hours of nothing. Yeah. 